Blessed love, my Lord and Empress. Give thanks and praise for life, health, and strength, and give thanks for the mighty life giver. King Selassie Aja, Rastafari. This is the African Liberation Network. I'm the host, Honorable Prophet Daniel. This is the Bobo Shanti International Study Group. And at this time, I'll turn it over to the Honorable Priest, Dougie, to say the opening prayer and begin the program. My Lord. Honorable. Blessed love family. My Lord, blessed love. Glory be unto our Father, unto us, his sons, and his daughters, and to the Holy One of Israel, Most High, Holy Emmanuel, I, Salas. As it was in the beginning, it's now and it shall ever be, the world without end. So we hail our God, Ayla Selassie, Jehovah God, Jarastafari, great and terrible God, Jarastafari, is the almighty God, Ayla Selassie the first, Jehovah, Jarastafari, and his divine Empress, Empress Menenai, Selassie, Jarastafari. Yes, so Father, bind our hearts together, you know, as we discuss thy business and try to get it right. You know, each one teach one as we inform each other, as we edify each other on this journey. So the saying can be one and the doing, you know, cause they both got together word and works to thy mercy. King Selassie. Yeah. Yeah. Right. All right. My love. My Lord, I give thanks, Honorable Priest Dougie. Give thanks for everyone who's here with us in the Zoom. Give thanks for all those watching on YouTube, same way, now and in the future. <sighs> Today's topic is nation building, you know, African nation building, which really is the, you know, right in time with the season, you know, being that we're coming up on the resurrection. Friday, you know, the Christ consciousness lives within all of us. And, you know, King Emmanuel said he, we are the first God and goddess of the earth, you know, but through slavery, plantation life, the Western world teachings was beaten into us and our, you know, um, original consciousness has been, you know, subdued for some time, you know, we we'll give thanks to the Black Christ in flesh, King Emmanuel Charles Edwards, who came, you know, to bring all these things back to our remembrance so that we can, and, you know, give thanks for Marcus Garvey and give thanks for Emperor Haile Selassie the first and Empress Menon who all brought things to our remembrance to resurrect the Christ consciousness of the African, you know, and to build that grand racial empire that Marcus Garvey spoke of, you know? That is the real resurrection that we are challenged with in this time, you know, to, to bring ourselves, to redeem ourselves, you know, to save ourselves from sin and shame, you know? So, you know, today's topic, we'll talk about, you know, nation building, what it is, what does it mean? And what does it consist of? What role do we play in it? And, you know, also, touching on, you know, King Emmanuel and his influence uh, as far as, you know, the resurrection and, and what it means as well to all of us, you know, an internalized way, you know, um, and, you know, nothing outside of ourselves still. So um, I'll open the floor up. Um, we could start with, you know, a definition of what nation building actually is. Um, I don't know if anyone wants to go, go first. And uh, we don't have to spend too long on defining what nation building is, but we could just get an agreed, you know, definition that we're going to build on, build the rest of the conversation on, you know, my Lord and Empress. Honorable Prophet Jaran, your hand is up, my Lord. You could uh, unmute yourself and speak. Bless and love, my Lord and Empress. When I think Lord nation build, building the word that comes to mind is unity and the unity to keep it plain and simple is just coming together as one um we have a lot of crab in the barrel mentality if you look at crabs in the barrel they like to pull each other down we need to 
show action, you know, I say practice what you preach because a lot of people, majority of people don't practice what they preach. So when I speak to people, I'm also speaking to myself. You know, coming together as one is something that needs to be done. But each relationship has a bond. Either that bond is either built or broken. So nation building is building a bond with other people in your community. You know, bless the love. Bless the love, my Lord. Give thanks for your response. Prophet Jaron, Prophet Brimstone. Yes, my Lord. And that's, you know, as King Emmanuel taught us, you know, the most when he was asked, what's the most important message you will give to the world? He said, love, you know, of all things, that was what, you know, he really wanted to get through to us and to the rest of the world. Because with that simple uh, formula, love ye one another, you know, treat others as you want to be treated, the golden rule that can, you know, make the world a totally better place, you know? So give thanks, my Lord, for bringing that to our, you know, attention still. And um, if anyone wanted to add anything regarding what is nation building, um, I, you know, we also must define what is a nation, you know? Um, nation, a nation of people has certain things in common. It could be um, ethnicity, it could be, or it, would, it could include language, culture, um, uh, land for sure, you know. Uh, we have been functioning in the West without our own land, you know, and uh, it weakens a people when they don't have land because the land is your base. And if you're, you don't have a base and you consider your base to be on someone else's, you know, stolen property, then that's a really shaky foundation to even build upon still, you know, but when you own your land, and when I say own, I don't mean, say, have a title and deed. I mean, you know, because that, that concept that we have of owning property and stuff is not really our own, you know, the way we consider ourselves is to just be here in this physical realm passing through and everything was here when we came and everything's gonna be here when we leave. You know, the only thing that we really partially even own is our flesh, you know, and, and even that is really not, you know, everlasting, you know, or ever living even, the spirit is ever living, you know? So um, not to get off on a tangent, but land is a very, very much, important part of nation building. And that's why Marcus Garvey, you know, pointed us in that direction, you know, to build Africa and to identify Africa as our base and to have a strong base through collective work and responsibility, you know, through being our brother and sister's keeper, you know, having a, a good relations among ourselves as Africans, you know, international morality, you know, even beyond being African alone, but international morality is for all people still. You know, as his majesty said, we have to become members of a new race, you know? So even beyond the African nation building, you know, a, a human community, you know, is, is a must because no nation is safe when, you know, countries are building nuclear weapons to destroy each other, you know? so. Um, yeah, and anybody feel free, you know, to raise your hand. I'm just, you know, sharing what I understand about nation and nation building, but the floor is open. Being that I'm the host, I just kind of keep the flow going. But, um, you know, um, land, culture, language, ethnicity, um, a nation usually has a banner. You know, we have seven banners. Um, but our land now, you know, Bobo Hill, any Bobo Hill in, in wherever Bobos gather, if it's, not, if it's not in Africa, it's only temporary, you know? It's not um, something that we would hold on to. It's just where we situated for now. But we have to have a vision and, and not just a vision, but a, a practical method of making Africa our land base for real. You know, um, yes, I. So I would love for someone else to, you know, join in and help 
uh, to describe what is a nation, what is nation building, you know, to build on what's been said so far. So I don't talk too long. My Lord. Bless the Lord, honorable. Yes, beloved. Um, first of all, God be defined. I and I, from his time, and nothing has really changed more than it might have gotten even worse. You know, um, and as I say that, something comes to mind just to deviate before I go into the, the, the fullness of the topic. I met a pastor man in, in Virginia some years ago. And his, why I, I remember him so much, his, I will call it his confession to I at the time was that he's ashamed of himself because it is 50 years going and more since Garvey established what he established. And that was at that time. It's many more than 50 years now. But, um, you know, Garvey established what he established. And I and I have not taken it one inch further. In reality, we have regressed. That was his, the essence of what he was saying, you know. So um, going forward to the topic now, Garvey coined or defined I and I as a race. Because, you know, that's why it is ne the, the process that we have assumed is called nation building. Because we are not a nation. We are a race building to retake our nationhood. You know, why? Just like the Virgin who opened the conversation said, the crabs in a barrel mentality, the Willie Lynch ism, you know, the divide and rule syndrome that have been, you know, Im embedded in I and I. There I said beaten, yes, it was beaten into I and I. But now we are voluntarily, you know, perpetrating it. So until, again, repeating what the opening virgin said, until we can find unity, you know, like community. What makes up a community? Common unity. Simply, no. You know, common unity. And until we can find that common unity, you know, we will remain a race. Now, to define a nation, a nation is a people that share, like the Virgin said, a common culture, land base, language, theology. That means their social structure is intertwined. It doesn't have to be identical because, as we know, Africa is made up of many tribes with variation of African culture. So it's not about uniformity, but there is a, there is a, a common thread, let's use that word, a common thread that ties it all together, you know, with it, which is the morals and the ethics, you know, in which we, 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 we conduct ourselves. African people are naturally spiritual people. So we may express that spirituality in different cultural expressions, but it's all the same sentiment, you know? We glorify the creator, we grow, glorify his creation, and all that gives and maintains life, you know? we pay homage to all of that, you know? So in reality, even though we, we are monotheistic, we defend one God, but in reality, we are more polytheistic than we are monotheistic because especially Bobo Ashanti, Bobo Ashanti say a trinity, three God, you know, that function as one, but it's still three separate entity, you know, and, and adding mama to it 
it's really four entity. So that's a poly amount of gods right there. That's not one. That's not a mono. So, you know, building a nation, all of these things we have to understand and work together within that common unity, building our land base. And that's why repatriation is so important because without land, we remain a race. And as race is defined, is defined in the Western world, it's a competition. It's that same crabs in a barrel mentality. Nationhood, we become one. You know, under that one banner. Earlier the Bridging said we have three um, banners. Seven. I said seven. Seven banners, sorry, seven banners. You know, but it's one crowned. So, you know, every government, even though one flag represents the nation, there is always sub flags, you know, other separate flags that represent maybe a, a district, a organization, you know. So all of this substance that we are, we are speaking of makes up that nation, you know, that one banner. Marcus Garvey gave us the banner. It's not even the banner of Ethiopia. That is our churchical banner. The banner of the nation is the red, black, and green, which Marcus Garvey gave to the black nation of people. And if you observe, it is flown around the world by various, you know, black communities. If you go to England, you see it being flown amongst, you know, people of color. If you go to Europe, is the same. So everyone has embraced it as our banner. See, and so that is what governs our nationhood, the red, black, and green. Now, you know, as we go on, we will break it down more and more and get into the, 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 the crooks of it, you know. Give thanks. Yes, my Lord. Give thanks. Honorable job. Jaran, my lord, you could unmute. Yes, uh, I just wanted to uh, elaborate. Um, you know, Ja, ja is love. I mean, so we all should love. We should love, right? The world is bound. If you know that Ja is love, you know what I mean? You start to show love, feel love, and embrace love, like I said. Though, like, again, the world is balanced. So the people who don't know Ja, no hate, no jealousy, no envy. And that's where it all equal. So instead of bigging a, a man or a woman up, oh, I like your nails, I like your hair. Oh, that's nice shoes you wear, man. Nice turban, Bobo, I see you. You know, um, they it, it's jealousy. So when that jealousy comes, then they envy that person. And when they start envying that person, they start hating that person. Um, I, I, make, I make poetry, music, you know what I mean? I know uh, that I said uh, against music, but it's righteous. And I don't write music, I just think about it. So unity, separation and segregation, you know, if you look at them definition, it's a separation between a nation, you know, and, and definitely with history, and experience is is definitely the black nation. So unity, like the brethren said, in, in community, we have to take advantage of them opportunities. You know what I mean? Though Babylon is trying to rule and we, you know what I mean? I'm talking about you and me, you know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, you see death at the hands of the police. Now we at funerals giving eulogies. You know, and if we start showing action, you know, as Rasta people, Rasta Farai deal with love and peace. If we start showing that, that's why I say, we don't don't talk about it, be about it. I go about that, you know? So we talk as we reason, the more we reason, that's repetition for us to do action, where we now interact, 
and react to the things. Negative, positive vibes. We must stay positive in this negative world. Why? Because we, we don't have control of how others feel about us, what they talk about us. We must stay true to ourselves. Find a divinity within ourselves. You know, positive vibration always, always outdo negative energy. That's just the frequency in life. You know, so whatever you put out in the world is going to come back 10 times full. You know, they have a saying, you know, live by the gun, die by the gun. Rasta don't deal with gun. You know, it's the Bible and the, and the hymn book. You know, so if we start showing people the roots, you know, that's also a reason why I, I, I love Rastafari right, because it goes back to the roots. If, if people go back to the roots and the, the truth where it all began, the original being, that's why it's the origin. You know what I mean? And they can go back to their natural self, which is nature. People can understand and overstand the concept of what a nation is, a federation of tribes. You know what I mean? So we just give thanks for the understanding to overstand, to understand, to comprehend, you know? Bless and love. Lord, bless and love. Prophet Joseph, my Lord, you can unmute yourself. Bless and love, my Lord. Bless and love. Um, I'm impressed. Yes, Honorable, just to say I agree with the word the bridging Jaron, Prophet Jaron just said, my Lord, about the root. I see, I see the common root really is, is the throne where, where, where the nation she not going away. Where the black nation really where as sure as for the day. Uh, I mean the root plays a very important role in the in the process of nation building because the system has carried black people all through this western hemisphere and has built an ideology of a nation where they look for the black man and woman to recognize themselves as as a part of that of that nation as the as the prophet marcus garvey says the jews are held together by his religion the white race by the assumption of the unwritten law of superiority. Likewise, the black man must unite in one grand racial hierarchy, a union that must know no climb and no nationality. When he said no nationality is beyond the nationality that has been imposed over yes. the black people. So it it is a process where I see. Yes, it is, it is a rebuilding process. More than a building process, it is a rebuilding process. But it takes, it takes also the process of, well, recognizing the atrocities committed by the white world and understanding the common root of all black people, regardless of their language, regardless of their place where they were born. So I see this cool Kin Emmanuel brought forward to I and I is, 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 a, is the pillar of this nation building because it has been capable of bringing black people from different countries under different so-called nationalities that were imposed over us to educate us and to teach us about the origin and about the, yeah, the, the glories of our past. So it gives us an inspiration of building something even greater in this, in this new time by bringing us together and by teaching us that we are all one people, that we are all one nation, and that we have a mission, which is to build our nation in the territory where we were taken from. So, yes, my Lord, I see this education about the common root is very important, my Lord and Empress. Give thanks. My Lord. Give thanks, Prophet Joseph.
Um, if I may, I would like to read a little short piece from Marcus Garvey. Um, he said, this to begin, it says, Be being at present the scientifically weaker race, you shall treat others as they treat you, but in your homes and everywhere if possible, you must teach the higher development of science to your children and be sure to develop a race of scientists par excellence, for in science and religion lies our only hope to withstand the evil designs of modern materialism. Never forget your God. Remember, we live, work, and pray for the establishing of a great and binding racial hierarchy and the founding of a racial empire whose only natural, spiritual, and political limits shall be God and Africa at home and abroad. So, you know, the reason why this is relevant to us, uh, you know, Marcus Garvey, the UNIA is, is, is a nation building mechanism, a, you know, a tool, an organization, an association for nation building. That's what the UNIA was about. The OAU, where His Majesty, you know, created and, and you know, um, kind of was the leader of, you know, they say he was, they called him the father of African unity. You know, the OAU is a nation building tool, you know, to bring, and like how Prophet Joseph just said, you know, forget about the nationality that was imposed upon us. Like all of them country, country names that they have in Africa, like, you know, Nigeria, Niger, Mali, um, all of them, Congo, all of those names didn't exist. Like they weren't called that before European came there and created borders, you know, and started calling this country that and that country this, you know. So it, the OAU was to, to bring forward that, you know, original consciousness of just being an African, you know, being a black man. And, you know, the borders are not so much important because those borders are here to separate, you know, borders don't join things, borders divide, you know. So also the EABIC, which we're members of, is a nation building tool, you know, it's an association founded around principles of nation building, you know, the culture, the, you know, the, the Broomfield for economy, and other, you know, other tools, other other trades and um, skills for economy, uh, infrastructure. Even, you know, on a on a basic level, you had homes, you had a church, you had office, you had guardhouse, all of these different, you know, buildings for for specific reasons and stuff. That's infrastructure. You you have banners. You have a common um, understanding of your your say spirituality. All these things that bind us together, the principles bind us together. It's a nation building thing, you know? So that's what we're here to do. That's what Marcus Garvey said, we should do that. What did he say? We remember we live, work and pray for the establishing of a great and binding racial hierarchy. That's what we're here for, according to our prophet, you know, who really gave us the vision to even be where we are doing what we're doing. Um, so, you know, I won't talk too long still, but I'll give everyone who wants to say something a chance to say say something about nation building. And then, you know, once everybody gets a chance to speak on that aspect of it, we'll continue to move forward and, and bring it to, you know, other, other parts of the reasoning still. So I'll open the floor up. Just to add one, one thing to what you just said, my virgin. My Lord. You know, our father, King Emmanuel, taught us about nation, wealth, kingdom. Oh. Yeah, the nation, wealth, kingdom. That was, that was the, 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 the popular phrase that, that I used. Mm -hmm. That is what he said that we were building forward to, to become one, you know, a one people, you know, united within that nation, wealth kingdom I see so um yeah just wanted to add those that concept along with how you just defined it a while ago can you give us a brief uh you know not brief but you know give us a little insight for those who might not know what does that mean 
because that's not a common term that you would hear. You only hear that from King Emmanuel. Nobody else said that before. So what does he mean by nation wealth? You know? And it's simple, you know, um, just like Dada defined Zion as man and woman. The wealth of any nation is its people. Is how I and I father defined it. So as a people, African people, people of African ancestry, you know, when we find forward ourselves, because that is what this whole journey is about right now. From we so-called got emancipation, the journey was to, you know, remember. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Remember, remember forward all, you know, that made us great, made us unique, unique, you know. So the, within that, taking that journey, you know, when we come forward now to ourselves and unite as a people, this is where now you find the nation wealth kingdom rises. You know, the fifth kingdom of the black Christ, you know, built on the souls of people, not on materialism, like the world defines kingdoms today. Because kingdoms, as we are taught in school, you know, is based on wealth and, you know, power and, you know, conquering other territories and all of that stuff. You know, like the British kingdom and the, the, the French kingdom and all those kingdoms that were taught in history. See, well, I and I Father's kingdom is a divine kingdom. See, and he defined it, as we say, you know, the African nation wealth kingdom, a kingdom of people united in the oneness of our morality. Give thanks, my brother. Africa was always like that, you know, if we look, look forward in history, because most of the time, I just want to, to add this, most of the time when we are meditating on, you know, the fullness and trying to define life, we kind of define it from slavery to now. You know, that's why Garvey, the Honorable Prophet say, you know, we have to look, we have to show the other spectacles and look through the Ethiopian spectacle. Not the Ethiopia, the little place that exists today but Ethiopia the continent we have to look through that spectacle that means that we have to predate slavery to get a fullness of I and I self when we were a nation wealth kingdom when Africa was a people's place and not a resource as it is today yeah give thanks my lord um you know the reason I put this on the screen, I know it's not the same thing and I'm not trying to draw a similarity reference, but even a contrast, you know, the Commonwealth was that of the British Empire, 54 member states, all of their territories that they colonized, you know, so King Emmanuel came with the nation wealth, which, you know, is just a natural, is a, you know, it doesn't have anything to do with conquests. And imperialism is the opposite of that, you know, it's just a natural, you know, the people being the, the like how the priest just explained, I won't talk about it, I just wanted to show that, you know, contrast the black Christ versus the white world teaching, you know. Well, that's what's very good that you see, it, is, is, is it takes seven priests on the altar to express the divinity of our fathers and our mothers. And again, it takes unity. This is a simple unity because what they I just bring forward solidifies the whole conversation that I was bringing and the I had brought before. The commonwealth. The commonwealth versus the nation wealth. You know? A beautiful analogy, my virgin. And if we take time out to look at that and break it down, the commonwealth. Within the commonwealth, that's where we were taught that we were boy and girl, you know. Hmm. That I always talk about the commonwealth and that teaching, you know. When them teach I and I say we are boy and girl. Is I and I father come forward, come tell me, say, no, we're not a boy and girl, and we're not a picnic. You understand? Yes, sir. And we're not a kid either, because kids is go to have kids. Mm -hmm. You know, we are kings and princess, kings and queens, we are gods and goddesses. And that I come reestablish that. Pride, just like how Marcus Garvey 
within his time came and reestablished racial pride amongst the, 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 the recently freed, you know, so-called slaves. See, because we didn't have that. We, we were taught to look down. Every time we see a white man, we have to step off the sidewalk. We have to look down. We can't look him in, in, him in his face. We can't answer back. We were taught to be very soft-spoken. Some of that is still existing. It's, it's, it's going away more and more in Southern Africa. But some of it is still there. Where you book the black. You have to listen good to hear when, you know, when he's speaking. Because over time, we have been beaten down to be like that. See? So the nation well, the commonwealth, teach us all those degrading three-fifths of a human concept. And the nation wealth is what rides back that Christ consciousness in I and I, you know, to make I and I know that we are all gods and goddesses. You understand? It's not just not a one guy out there in, in, in the sky or some one individual that walks on water, but all of I and I and I have, as long as you are a living entity, the life within you is that divine power, you know, it's just if you choose, because as humans, we have that free will, the choice to choose good or evil. Bless. Lord. All right. Well, yeah. We're in Commonwealth, you know. Burn the queen, the head of it, the harlot. Burn no. the Pope, you know. This so uh inside. Um, we will, you know, if any of the ones who have a voice, an opinion or a thought want to speak before we move forward, you know, um, I will leave the floor open for just a moment. And if not, we'll go forward. Um, wanted to reason about, you know, being that this is the, 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 the strong or the weak, you know, the days coming up to the resurrection, you know, celebration. This is the, 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 the program before the resurrection. I would like to really tie it all in, you know. Um, you know, yes, there's aspects of King Emmanuel and resurrection. And I will, you know, I would love for ones and ones to even feel free to share regarding that. But as it, as it regards, you know, nation building, as the priest was just saying, you know, the concept of it being one, one person walking on water and all of these things, as opposed to how he taught us is that we all are God and goddess, you know? So the resurrection is the resurrector, you know, in my view still, and everyone is, you know, definitely free to share their own view. That's what we're here for, you know, everybody adds something. Um, but, you know, in my view, the Christ consciousness is the most important thing because that is in everyone. You know, King Emmanuel wanted us, and, you know, from what I get from here and from my elders and from hearing him speak himself, is that he wanted us to understand the Christ in ourselves, same way as it is in him. And that's why he, you know, he came to really show the example of what it looks like so that we can know, you know, um, what to expect of ourselves, you know, our highest potential. And even as he said, we should even do greater things than him, you know? So it's not to say any one of us is more than him or more than anybody else, but as a body of people working together, we should be able to do, you know, beyond measure. If we just have that common unity and that desire and that love, you know, that desire for um, the, what Marcus told us about the racial hierarchy, the African solidarity, you know, and, and um, us being able to be self-reliant. Like all of the, the, the principles of the EABIC, you know, is really, in my view, to resurrect the Christ consciousness in all of us. You know, and so this celebration of the resurrection is, you know, after our fast over 40 days, you know, 
going through, you know, whatever trials we may face, but definitely, you know, having hunger and, and, and putting it aside for the, for, for not just the discipline, but also for, uh, in my view, like a, a sense of loyalty to God still, you know, the God in myself. I owe it to my flesh to give it a break, you know, to let it be healthy so that the Christ, the God in me can be healthier still. And, and you know, you know, not to go off on what we talked about last week as far as praying and fasting, but, you know, it, it, this is the culmination of the praying and fast, fasting is the resurrection. And each of us, you know, is, is, has a certain sense of resurrection within ourselves. Um, but yeah, you know, at this point, I would feel, I would love for ones and ones to feel free to come in and share about the resurrection. And I would ask, you know, it's not a requirement, but I would ask if somehow in your reasoning, it can have, you know, relevance and pertinence to um, nation building being that that is the, the base of the, the, today's topic. Uh, yes, my Lord and Empress. Yeah, man, the BS of the BS of resurrection is nation building. Yes, I yes. want to define it. It is mm -hmm. because um, you know, that is what the whole we do rituals for a purpose, you know. We have to, we are not re, re, we are we are not part of a religion. It's a way of life. And if it's a way of life for I and I, seeing it's the, that that means. It is, so, it is part of us. So we do it for a purpose. Rituals are for a purpose. It is either to remind us or to pay homage to a great moment in time, a great act that took place, or, a, you know, or an ancestor who did that act or did something great within that moment. With that said, we go through this ritual of resurrection every year to remind I and I self, you know, of that sacrifice that we must be willing to make and that we make throughout the, the other the, the months leading up to the next resurrection. Because that is what this whole Christ order is about that altruistic liberty. The man said, there's no greater love than, than one who is willing to give up his life for his brothers and sisters. That is what you call unconditional love. So within that whole concept, you know, that is what we, 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 we you know, pay homage to at this time of the year, uh, within I and I, among I and I as a house, you know, it is not, we have to come away from, from, from the, the psyche that they have placed in I and I to make a specific imagery be defined in I and I view when we are practicing our, our, our liberty. The message from our messengers, you know, from our, our messiahs was, uh, was to I and I, you know, the message came to I and I, and the message was about seeing I and I self as part of that whole divine structure. See, that I used to have a, a, have a pet peeve, and many ones who have been around him, you know, can tell you of that are saying this. I have heard other priests, you know, make testimony of this. That that I speak, him say, the one problem him have with the rest of the family out there, the rest of the races out there, is that we extol everyone else, you know, but we leave I and I self, them leave themselves undone, which is what in general I and I do, you know, and within that same reasoning that I say, then we tell you what John say, what Peter say, what Jeremiah say, but what is the I and the I and the I say? So Jai is always open and wanting I and I to express I and I consciousness as well. 
because that is the whole purpose of coming to the school to rise your Christ consciousness, to be a Christ. You're a Christ in training. That's what, a, that's what the whole, you know, in essence, the whole thing is, you know. Okay, if the man say more purpose is to rise your Christ consciousness, that is what the whole training is, is about. And when your Christ consciousness is risen, what do you become? If it's a way of life, what do you become? You become a Christ. So your whole liberty is Christ-like. Remember that, 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 that flyer that um, and I uh, used to go distribute amongst ourselves, uh, you know, one part of the bulletin from the hill where there is a, a, a article in there that says when His Majesty visited Jerusalem in, in, in 1936, 37, somewhere around there, you know, when he visited, I guess, was on his way into, you know, that moment of exile. They said, the article said, look like Christ, talk like Christ, walk like Christ. That is what the people were saying that saw him, that behold him, the, the same bishops and, 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 and priests and all of them that behold him. They said that he looked, walked, and his whole demeanor was Christ-like. And that is the same aspirations, that's the same oneness now that we are talking about. When we say one God, one him, one destiny, that oneness. That's the oneness, you know, when we, when our Christ spirit arise within us, we are bound together because that Christ energy, that Christ spirit is one. We are going to express it as individuals, but our whole demeanor will be Christ-like and it will be obvious to everyone. It's like when Bobo Ashanti traveled the streets of Jamaica back in the day. Everyone knew the divine Bobo them. Them knew who was real Bobo and who was just some rapid. Them knew who was who because that, that, that aura that I and I carry, that aura that when your Christ spirit is arisen, that Christ energy is, is, is glowing within you. Your face is shining like when Moses went up into the mountain and came down forward. That is what it do, you know. It make a certain glow within you. And I and I have experienced that, you know. I have I am priest knuckles and, and, and priest class and elders of that time, we have had many conversations of moment when we have seen that within ourselves and within others and, 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 and other ones of an eye bridging within certain space and time. You know, that is when you are stepping on a high, when you're in sync with the, with, with, with the divine energy. You understand? That means say, anything you, you touch, like Midas, it turned to gold, you know? You, 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 any, you, you, when you bless a one, that blessing stick. You understand? That, that's when you have that power, like Christ, to rise the dead in ones, rise the life in ones. You understand? Rise the dead and give them forward life. You know, see, through your word, sound, and power, through, through your liberty, through, through you, the energy where you, you are emitting. You know, it's like when you care about your dead and a man come here, jump, it jump started and it can drive and move again and you get back life. Yes, my virgin, it's that levels of, of teaching and liberty that this time we reflect on within resurrection, see? And that is within all of I and I, that Christ-like nature. It's not no imagery of no, any imagery, because then we become idol, idolaters. It is the internal God within I and I. The Christ within I and I, the black Christ who lives within I and I, is who I and I reflect upon. If that. Yes, family. Just seek my Lord. You can unmute. And I have a blessed love, my Lord. Blessed love, God. Heart of love to all my lords and embrace Prince and Princess. Worthy. Give thanks for the Holy Tree, the King, the Peace, and the Prophet, you know. We give thanks for the Blessed Holy Week, you know, the Black Week, you know. 
Yeah. The Jewish leaders plotted mm-hmm. against him. Judas betrayed him. Herod and Pilate tried him. And the Roman soldiers crucified him. The black Christ in flesh. Remember? So, concerning the reason, my Lord, nation, building on these things, you know, from since creation, you know, our and I, Israelites, you know, have been a nation, you know, with a nation of people from since creation time, you know. I don't want to read a little fasting from um, Exodus chapter 19, verse 6. Cha, Rastafari. Continue and read in Exodus chapter 19, verse 5. Read from verse 5. Now, therefore, if you will obey my word indeed and keep my covenant, then it shall be a peculiar treasure unto me above all people, for all the earth is mine. Said the most high, so that's the idea. Rastafari. And it shall be unto me the kingdom of priests and an holy nation. These are the words which thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel. I and I. So that's the idea. Rastafari. So you know, so we give thanks for the remembrance. So you know, we was scattered and brainwashed and all these things, you know. We give thanks for remembrance what the train to come and do for we. Because the white man now, you see what they do we. First they give we slavery for all these years. The others brutalize we. They come and say, well, then they come and give we emancipation. The others, they give we petty wages for we work. Petty wages they come and give we. They come and give we Republican, Democratic politics. You know, all them things they do we for over the years, you know. And we see no change. For years, I've been holding on the black nation of people, you know. So we give thanks to the black Christ who come and establish it still, the EBIC, you know, the world nation kingdom for now. Because we're a nation of people, but you know, we just had to build love among ourselves and shank ourselves. Yet. Everything done said already for we to do. We, were, we just had to follow the protocol. And from we follow the map, the protocol, yet, you'll find the puzzle will come together then. You know, so we give thanks to the nation building same way. Because the man them never stop when it comes to agitating for black nation building same way then, you know. So we give thanks. We give thanks for the Holy Week too. As we go along, we go reason more about the Holy Week still, you know. So I give thanks for the few words for now, my Lord and Empress, Prince and Princess. Blessed love. My Lord. Yes, my Lord. Yeah. Honorable Prophet Winston, my Lord, you can unmute yourself. Holy man, where I still ask, yeah, yeah, Rastafari. Give thanks again, you know, for the perfection of perfection. Give thanks again for the risen Christ. Ever live Emmanuel, long live Emmanuel, stay when I want to and crucify or kill Emmanuel. Give thanks again for Rastafari, you know, we set this earthly living Ethiopian nation well kingdom. When the man say, if you're strong in Africa, you could strong anywhere else, same way, you know. And it's just a powers where I and I say ones and ones have to really come and see just good over evil, same and I always forgive so that they will get forgiveness, you know. And the man say the opening Psalms are the Sabbath, same with Psalms 130 and 6, same with the man mercy and judge forever, same way, you know. I give thanks, same way, being here, same way, chatting to same with King Emmanuel, same way at all time, cousin. He's I and I redeemer, the overs, he's him, I will come sure and I everything. Within I and I stand, you know, the protection I is King Emmanuel, same way. Give thanks to Bobo Shanti, same way, because I don't know. It's togetherness, same way, just a together power, same way, you know. Give thanks to such powers, you know. Because the man show I and I say within, you know, the meditation, same way, you know. You see that he that humble himself will always be exalted, and he that exalt himself will humble him like a child, same way, you know. So I do give thanks again for the road of clearance, you know, give thanks again for the first day of the week, you know, the week when them see the crucified Christ, you know. Give thanks again for Emmanuel, we come set the Redeemer, because we come fight the Lamb Moses, but come fulfill it, same way. The man who come and fulfill Moses' line this time is King Emmanuel, and, you know, we had to such powers. Give thanks again for Marcus, the Abbey, same way, because he's the only man who take Marcus Garvey Ward and turn it into salvation to fulfill the book of John, eh? you know, because it's the same word of Christ take from John and come fulfill it same way still. It's, if you check the return and the power of King Emmanuel, as he said, man chatting from such time and to this time, eh, same way. But for us, you know, we have to learn to forgive ourselves and, you know, 
we have to learn to, you know, be true, you know, to one another, same thing, this charity, same. But I know still not worry because in the youth and them still have to come and fulfill the mission. But the man saying Psalms 14, none that do it good, you know, not one same way, you know. So the trouble is that, you know, the child of Israel have to be the same way. But that, you know, brought out Israel from all, you know way of you know ignorance and all way of you know temptation you know and all way of life same but king Emmanuel sure is a god is all type of people so sometimes you see ones and ones act so you now you can't really fight them neither because them still god if his man and he's still god if his woman same because we chat daily you know all over we even go to the shop and buy things and we see the behavior ones and ones same but we could never go strike a stone or strike something to the person because is either God or God is the same or still. Then we we'll come and know the truth within such time. And the nation, well, kingdom now, we are rich, you know, Ethiopia shouldn't bow in for nothing from the West. Africa, we have everything in Africa. Them even supposed to send in, no one even supposed to send in the money from the West in Africa. Because Africa has everything already. Africa is not a suffering country, you know. Africa is a country, it's a, it's a wealthy country, that we man talking about. Everything did it. Mark, I see me show you that even the tires with upon the vehicle, you over as we are the plantation, you over as we the rubber, we build the tires. Same, we have everything home. But these people don't want to give us repatriation, same because they don't know these people set themselves to keep us in prison. Calling at this small island to, is a high class prison, and them come push the medication, you over as we feel them stereotype, and I say, we fulfill the medication. Is all of it, you know. But the man say now, this child is not for the man who can read the most or the man who can write the most, you know. You know, but I see the man who can stand praying night and the same way. What song and power he shall reveal himself unto that man the same way, and to that woman the same way, and to the children the same way. So I give thanks again for the fast in the car. When I raise the priest and then the priest and them show and I see him good Friday. And the child of the fattest child was always be, you over be white. But when ja, you over set it in Ethiopia, he put the black turban for one's on one head and bring it black over white to link up Ethiopia. You over as with the West, same way. So we do give thanks, same way. See anyone come within any formation of, you know, clothes, same way. We accept them because we're in the theater, not the garment. You know, we say love, because the man come show we. And then man come teach me, you know, he say love, he say forgive, so that we can rise, you know. I not fight flesh and blood, but evil as principality in high and low places, you know, versus why I chat them. I not try to adjust no one because you don't know, once and once still I go come and know the truth, even though you tell them certain things, you go bring them to the truth. So I give thanks even being here and, you know, rising up again and seeing fulfillment of artist chan going to same way. More of a motion to all the Empress for the foundation and to um, Mama Lily, you know. And I have some documents where the Honorable Priest Jesus is asking I and I to put Mama Lily name to the documents so that he can, the documents can really stay in Ethiopia for the government, for the government stand in Ethiopia because we have to have 50 people in Ethiopia in order to get our church set. So, if Mama Lily could agitate twice now in such time, whoever gave her the message same way that we could, you know, do paperwork, you know, you over as and ready study Congress over there. I sent for her the documents which she name, if she can, you know, so that she can stand within the school and the setting of the Congress in Ethiopia. So it's just a time same where, you know, we just go to same through the powers and the love. So tell her just be strong. And be upright same way, you know, that I go clearly with fire and I repatriation. More love and more strength and more prosperity. Bobo shant, you know, man, woman, and children, you know. See that. This is love, my Lord. Yes, I, anyone else that we haven't heard from? Any of the empresses care the reason? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, well. Um, not, yes, my Lord. <clears throat> yes, my love, we just wanted to also add a word, my Lord, in well, making making such parallel between resurrection 
and in our nation building. The way I see it, same way, my lad, is it's our father, he, we know, he resurrected on Friday to keep the Sabbath holy. And King Emmanuel, within, within his constitution, his statutes, he teaches us that the Sabbath is the foundation of, of INI Congress. You know? And our Congress stands to agitate for human rights and justice. Everyone has the right to, to a nationality. You see, so this school is, is here to teach the black people in the West that even though we have been labeled by the system's nationalities, we must agitate and come together as one, organize and centralize to forward to our own nationality in Africa, right? And we see the works our father has led in the Trinity, Marcus Garby, King Emmanuel, King Selassie, they have all worked together, not together, but in their own times in history to fulfill a duty within within the nation building. So uh, within this reasoning I see, we see we are, we are like trying to figure out what's our task within that nation building. But I was, I was just now I was, I was thinking and, and also meditating on the works of our father, His Imperial Majesty King Selassie. That is the nation that all Ethiopians are a part of, right? All Ethiopians in the West. And we now see our father teaches that these other, these traditions are part of the Ethiopian, you know, our Ethiopian traditions that he come to bring to remembrance to I and I. So we, we born again and resurrect within that nationality, right? So I see, and, and I really cannot stress enough how I see the education is key within, within, this, within this topic of nation building within this topic of nation, resurrection within the diaspora, because that is really what the Father came, came here to do. He, he, he came to teach us the glory of our past and to make us identify with that history and with, and with that glory. Marcus Garvey, there is a poem written by Marcus Garvey that's called your duty today. It says, believe in God, lift yourself, lift your family, lift your clan, lift your race, lift your country, lift your nation, and be an imperial wall. Marcos, I. Rastafari. So it is, it is really, uh, a process that I see that starts within ourselves, within our own families, within our own communities. But it is very important that, and it is very key that we are organized and centralized. And I see the work that our father, Emmanuel, has advanced in, in building an international Congress for the for the ideology and the full, and the and the and the education of black people to recognize themselves as members of this Ethiopian nation 
from where the Emperor Selassie is king of kings. So I give thanks Zemuye for this period of fasting, this period of Lent, because it is a purging process. It is a process, it's a time to clean ourselves. So we see how our father is perfect, where he gave us this ara for us to born again and clean ourselves from this mentality that has kept us apart for, for, for so long. And in the words of, of Marcus Garbi Semuye, he says, I foresee the building of a nation in Africa that can stand for the rights and defend the rights of black people at home and abroad. So we as a Congress, I see we are, we are in, in a time in history where we have to continue building those bonds and building those, yeah, building the bonds with the African leaders of, as our father did, you know, building, building that unity within black people to recognize the, the unity with, with the continent. And not only by the ceremonial ladder, not only by wearing robe and turban, but by understanding their purpose within the building of that nation. I, I see the Congress as a school to build such consciousness within black people that even if people is not becoming Bobo Shanti, black lawyers, black doctors, black builders, black, every profession of black people see their future and, and see their, their work as a possible work to be fulfilled in Africa. So we should be in a level where we could, where we can build that embassy, Ethiopian embassy, which we know is Bobo Hill and which we know this Congress is for. So where the works of black people that's committed to the cause of nation building can born again in consciousness, resurrect and go forward to our motherland and build our, 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 our motherland and our fatherland, Black Ethiopia, the nation where we are really a part of and all Black people is a part of my life. Yes, my Lord. Glorify, Rafa Joseph. Facts, you know, what you said is definitely true. Um, and you, I like where you were going with it. I would like to even kind of bring the reasoning forward to, you know, this definition at the bottom on, on the screen, the revitalization or revival of something, you know, the nation, nation wealth kingdom, as Priest Dougie said, is really just a natural way to live. Um, so we had it before, as King Emmanuel also said, he, we were the first God and goddess of the earth. So we're actually rebuilding our nation, but this time we will build it even better than before. You know, um, so I would like to know you know, for us to really reason about and share with the, you know, the watchers, the listeners, what does it take? What does it take? What will it require for us to successfully resurrect and rebuild African nation, African, you know, people, our empire and all of these things? I what does that actually things. take? Empress? Empress? My Lord? You said something? <laughs> Not really, but I would like to speak after it. Um, All right. Well, after you speak, then we'll go with what I were, you know, in that direction where I was, you know, speaking of, but you can go through. Okay. Let's say love my Lord and Empress. My Lord, is anyone there? Blessed love. Blessed, Blessed love, Baba. 
Bless the love. Stand. Bless the love, Mama. Bless the love. Yeah. All glorified to you, the blessed love from the honorables. Then give thanks, my Lord. Thanks yet for another study group. You know, as we are reasoning one to another. Most eyes last year. Yeah. Yeah. Rest of fire. Well, I'm listening to the honorables then, you know, and great reasoning, my Lord. Give thanks, you know, for all points of right. So, Mama. Nation building and resurrection. Good topic. Well, my Lord, give thanks for our divine Father, you know, who teach us about how we build ourselves, because naturally, we have to start build ourselves first within the right hand principle before we can even go there and start to build anyone else. You understand? And you have to look, but you have to look on the building from home because when you have a family, you're also building that family there to take over from I and I when we get elderly. And we can't afford to do what we are supposed to do. So naturally, that's why we start. We have to build, you know, the younger generation then so, to take over from I and I. So we have to start the building from home. So, and that's why King Emmanuel teach us how to build ourselves within the right and principle. Right? So that, you know, when we can go out there you now and to help to build back even our home, Africa, right? To teach, you know, the brethren them and sisters in them how to build themselves within a right and within a principle, right? So we have to know what we are doing and we have to know that, you know. You know, the teaching from Ja. You know, I know the man teacher and I, we think, you know, almost conduct yourself. And everything we do is a building. You know? Yeah. So we have to start below ourselves from home. We have to start below ourselves how to take care, you know, of our home. We understand how to take care of our church, how to administrate in our Congress. Everything we have to, this is a building. Everything we do is a building, right? So we give thanks to that. Even I and I right now, as empresses, and we are talking about nation building. We are in Africa, right? And we are helping the sisters them down there to build houses for the unfortunate, right? who doesn't really have a, 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 a shelter over them head, you know, doesn't have a, a place to, to lay their head. And so I and I, the sisters, are helping, you know, other sisters in South Africa right now, helping to help them to build, you know, a foundation for them still. So we also, that is also nation building. And um, together the sisters them, and to teach them how themselves, you know, how they to dress and how the principle, the prince, how to live the principle in righteousness. That is also building. So in every everything we do, yeah, it's a building. Yeah. Everything we say, you know, may I, but I may I build myself because. Me I go do this, and me I feel, me I go do that. Me I go pan the fasting, so me I feel I build myself. Me dey pan the fasting, me I build myself, you know, to so strengthen myself within certain aspect of life. It's a building. So our Father teach us, you know, how to build ourselves within a right, and that's the first start of it. Is in. So we give thanks, you know this topic, nation building, you know, and how to really build with self, you know, and give thanks to all the reason I got through, yeah, and I myself is even learning much more about 
of a bill. You know, I know some how for, I know certain things, but I give thanks for the extra. Every day you learn something new. You never too hold to learn. You know, I give thanks, my Lord. You know, for everything what's said and done here today. Yeah, my Lord, blessed Lord. Blessed Lord, give thanks and praise. Yes, I, no matter how much high science people have, if they don't know the foundation, like Empress Maisie was saying, if they don't get the proper home training and rearing, you know, they could use these things, the sciences to destroy themselves and destroy other people. So the, what the Black Christ came to teach is, you know, foundation information, foundation knowledge of just how to live amongst people. Yeah, because... No matter how much you know, if you can't do that, you're not gonna have no good society. Um, you know, but I would love to hear, you know, what what other things, what what all when it comes to a, a nation, like you know, looking at his majesty as an example, really, because out of all our Godhead, our Trinity, his majesty and Empress Men was the only one on the continent in a sense of ruling, ruling with land that was theirs, you know, that they could definitely claim that this is my land and this is my people. They had sovereignty, you know, real sovereignty with ownership of land. So using them as an example, you know, what is it that the type of things that they were doing to try and rise, you know, the, 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 the standard of living in Ethiopia? Um, yeah, because, it, it, you know, it's, is a holistic thing, you know, it's not just one area that they were developing. And, you know, it's not to say that his majesty did all of the development. He had, you know, people in the country that had tasks, but he was the leader of it all. And even in the continent of Africa, you know, as I said before, he's the father of African unity. So what types of things was him and the other African leaders trying to establish to build this and, you know, taking it further than where they brought it to, what else needs to continue to happen in order for us to have, you know, um, a strong homeland, you know, uh, that's self-reliant and, and, you know, um, like uh, capable of doing, having the capacity to do whatever other nations do and, and even beyond. And not to say everything that other nations do still, because not everything other people do is good, but, you know, basic stuff like, you know, to have machines to build roads and to be able to build roads using your own tractors and your own uh, pavement and all of that stuff from the ground up, having your own the ability to do things on your own. What all does that take? Because that's really where it comes, well, that's what, it, you know, if we're really serious about nation building, that's the heights of it, you know, is it, we're using, most of us are on a grassroots level trying to nation build and that's one thing, but the, the end of it, if you you know, if you really have an end goal in mind, which we do, Marcus Garvey told us what the goal is, you know, to be able to reach that level what Marcus Garvey was talking about, what is that gonna require of us and our children and our children's children, et cetera. Um, John Winston, you have your hand up, my lord. You can unmute. My lord, give thanks again. My lord, um, mm -hmm. just meditating same way and, you know, thinking about, you know, the chat same way. My lord, we have a lot of um, people inside of the Congress where, you know, have a lot of um, wealth, a lot of people have, Congress in real estate, so a lot of money they were in the Congress. And if we could only you know, find ourselves together to put some money. You over sky down the money and for his money we take to do certain things, you know. And we, you know, don't differentiate, you know, I always love one another. And you know what is what I and I right within feel out the ones and ones in the Congress and know well what this is I and I rights and we have to do this. Eh? You know, we put money together, you know, we just just talking, talking. So my lad, we put money together. I would be like, can I much power we could send people in Africa, you of us too, you know, skillful people, 
you know, we have skills in, in, in the other, you know, and we go in and we set ourselves and we put everything together in one part, you know. God, we say if you have two bread, you know, you know, as you do, eat two of them one time, you know, eat one and then put up one and for the another day and then eat it the another day. You know, you, you really know what tomorrow will bring, say, we still are you hoping for the best, you know. Mm -hmm. But my dad, if we if we really come together and really put because we still you know we met ten thousand guidance you know the man them who involved from the guidance and them we know the money they going within a con the overs the man them from every country the money going within their con my lad it takes money for do they say we have to build ourselves bubble you know and it are people it have ones and ones in the congress if it's a five dollar straight aside put it aside you know one one full basket because to pay the priest them profit or to pay the profit them profit or the empress them profit to go in and start to dwell with the thing physically because we have to go there my lad we have to go there from the west we have to go home and we have to start to put things together home if we are 10 away 15 away you know we come together reason you have put every fine if you're working outside you take ten dollars out of your money that you work and you put it aside for the betterment of the Congress, you know. It's not what the Congress can do for you, you know. You over as you see it, you know. You know, it's not what you could do for the Congress, it's not what the Congress could do for you, you know, but what you can do for the Congress is what you can contribute to help the society. My lad, I go camp and the youth and them going to school, yeah. And I have to give them papers to contribute to give them papers for them for them lunch and for them go with, within the foundation while I see. In the, you know, and that only show me a greater knowledge because the youth and them when they come from school, I learning from them, my lad. You know, because one time when the youth sit down, um, Prophet Kevin sit down next to him tell I say, my lad, chant on the one two, and I start to chant on the one two, and the youth say to him and I say, my lad, anytime you chant him on the one two, you must chant exact on the one two, and that is the voice of the youth, and them time is small enough. You know, and it's for where we really go through and where we see we could build it, Bobo. We could build the nation, we could build it by contributing to we own ourselves, my lad. Bless the Lord, my lad and Empress. Worthy honorable. That's a good point, you know. Economics is yeah, it's hard to do much of anything without some money in this world as we know it. Good point, my lord. And we all, even even though like we like he said, we don't might not have some might have a lot, some might have a little. If everybody gives what they can, they'll reach somewhere. But we have to have, we have to establish some uh, transparency, some infrastructure for, for, for the finances sure. to make sure that people's money is being used for what it's supposed sure. to be used for and saved when it's supposed to be saved, et cetera, et cetera. But it's definitely a bridge we have to cross and we have to do it. There's no way around it. True. Sure. Yes, my lord. It's called, you know? it's called structuring, and that is definitely where our biggest weakness as a people, you know, structuring ourselves, restructuring, not structuring, you know, because we were a nation, we were structured. You know, it's restructuring ourselves now forward to that level, you know. Um, and when we look, um, if we're going to talk about nation building on a practical level, you know, and we're going to, um, yeah, I set the premise a while ago by saying, let us look at, you know, our majesty and, you know, our mother, who are practical examples of leaders of a nation that was in reconstruction. Now, what was one of the first institutions the emperor um, established in Ethiopia? And... No, why? And it was, it was not just an institution for Ethiopians. It was an institution for all Africa. It was a military school. Yeah. Well, we'll go to the practicality of, of nation building. I know. Military school. Yeah, it was a military school. He, taught, he, he established a military school in Ethiopia where the leaders of Africa could send their children and send whoever select ones that they saw are acknowledged had certain capabilities to come learn you know the whole military strategy the whole military protocol and the reason at the opening of that school if you read his opening address to the school you know 
he laid it out clearly why he saw it very important to establish such a school. It was for the defense of the continent of Africa, not just the defense of Ethiopia. He was, he, he was being practical because he, has, he experienced it prior to doing what he did. You know, and Ethiopia has always been a trophy for Europe. Europe has always wanted to claim that trophy. You know? So Ethiopia has always had to defend itself like other states in Africa. You know? So he understood that defense of the continent by Africans, not by other outside forces, but by Africans themselves was paramount. So established a military college to teach. Another aspect of the emperor approach to nation building was to look at science and new technology to see what was practical to the Ethiopian geography. Because remember now, it was a very rugged terrain. It's, it's, it's the interior, it's a hill land, in, it's a hill and mountain interior. You know, even when you're landing there, they tell you it's like going down into, in, into a, 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 a um, like going down into a volcano then. You know, you're, you're descending. It's not flat like out here in the West. See, it's a mountain fortress. So he looked at technology and science to see what was practical that could advance his nation and prepare them for today, the modern world. So yeah, he, he was the first to do a lot of things in Ethiopia. You know, he revolutionized agriculture brought a lot of technology within the, the, the field of agriculture. See, he established rail lines that goods and services could be transported to and, to and from the coast. Because remember now, Ethiopia itself is land, landlocked. He established um, fiber optics. He was the first to put in fiber optics Menelik started a lot of the, the modernization, you know, but I feel like it practicalized it. He put things that, were, that, that benefited the people right away. So did the Empress. The Empress established schools for, Clinic. for, fem for females so they could learn how to factories. do certain things. Yes, you know, and factories that they could make what they are, when they finish learning, they could go apply them skills now and make things, you know, and make products that could be exported and marketed. So she helped yeah. them to, to develop an economic structure, you know, which, you know, back then, coming out of slavery, coming out of the focus of just defending the continent, you know, and trying to stay alive as a people. The woman, them, needed to be advanced, you know? So that is what the, the Empress did. She took that on her shoulder to advance the, the woman's welfare, you know, and make it as equal as she could to the man. And that's that she did. That's and that's what, and she did it. She established schools to teach them, you know, <laughs> factories that they could be employed, you know, so these are practical measures of nation building, you know, not just the, the, the church, the church, the church is established and it, it is the foundation of I and I being, you know, spiritually we are, we, are, we, are, we are on the point. That is not something that we lack, spiritual consciousness, you know, it's just working and disciplining ourselves, you know, and applying ourselves to that consciousness. Mm -hmm. Is problematic more time. But you see the other areas of life to, 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 to be able to, like the Virgin said, be sovereign, self-sufficient, independent, you know, to not be under the keep and care of Europe and the Europeans. That is what Ayla Selassie I and Empress Menin was doing with their nation, preparing their nation, and at the same time trying to teach the rest of Africa that is what you have to do. 
whichever way you want to do it. He was dictating how it must be done, but he was trying to set an example to the rest of Africa as well, you know, even through the, 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 the organization of African unity to show them that this is the way we have to think, you understand? So we can be part of the whole 21st century. At that time, it was the 20th century construct. Yes, sir. Thanks, my lord. Um, I see a few hands raised, but before I call on the item, uh, Job Benson, my lord, he, he's he can't raise his hand because he called in, but I told him he could speak a while back. So I'll give Job Benson the floor and then Jaseek, Ja Winston, and Presley in, in that order. Prophet Benton, my lord. Job Benton. Blessed love, family. Blessed love, God. Oh, thanks. I want uh, a serious topic this, you know, nation building. For so I and I as a house and a people, I'd implore us all to read two books. That is two books. Race First by Tony Martin, which gives us an ideological foundation of African fundamentalism or what that really is. They can't build a nation without ideology and Pan-Africanism, which further expounds upon the need of African unity and African development. Road that when we look at Pan-Africanism by Kwame and Kuma. Kuma, okay. There are things we should be studying more than we study the Bible at this time, my Lord. And them things deal with the tangible realities of life we face in. If we don't educate ourselves, we can't never raise the human capacity to develop. And that's where we as a people, within and without the continent, lack in human capacity. So if we talk in nation building, we face off for like, it start with self, it start with education, educating ourselves on what nation building really is, educating ourselves to develop ourselves. Because if the individual can develop, the state can develop, the nation can develop. And when we look at the 21st century construct we are now, we, when we look at, and uh, we read Marcus, and uh, we read his majesty, we have to take the context of the time and the situation they, they were in. Context and time has changed. And we have to keep a breath to the context and time we're living in. Now, on the macro level or the universal level, the nation building, it, for us on the grassroots level, specifically as Bobo, it takes further integration with other like-minded organizations and people and learning and integrating and championing the same causes and giving strength to strength. We can't keep in an era of isolation. So we have to come out of isolationism within ourselves. When we look at nation building, we have to understand nation building is a political process. We have to learn politics. We have to understand politics because politics govern all affairs of man on the earth. Where there's the spiritual to the everything governed through politics. Papan. Papan. No. So we have to be when we look at the African nation building, African integration, repatriation, we say everyone have a right to a nationality and a state. How are these things achieved? What that really mean when we say that? How are these things going about? When we look at today, the AU moving towards continental citizenship and continental government, which is enfranchisement, bringing us all in. Where in now you have an African passport, where you have an African nationality. The markers say, let us go build a nation because you didn't have no free, sovereign, independent nation to go build besides Ethiopia. 
at the time, Liberia, in Sierra Leone, what would it be considered free? But Vasa states, uh, 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 the U.S. and the U.K. So let's look at the time in Kuma during the time of uh, 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 decolonization when we have the rise of African states now that we could agitate and go to and help. So we, we, we have to look at it through the time, keep abreast with the time and what's going on with the time. For us right now, as a people, education is paramount. Raising our human capacity to do for ourselves is paramount. Africa economy, the Caribbean economy, the world economy controlled by the U.S. dollar and the U.S. system and the West. How do we go about, if we say nation building, how do we go on about creating an African economy independent of such? These are fundamental questions. How do we resurrect ourselves if we can't come from under the yoke of neo-imperialism and neo-colonialism? If we don't truly understand these things and raise our capacity to meet these things. Control the resources. You know? So, it's all about education for I and I. Outside of that, it's integration, a, a process of Africanization, especially for us in the West. You know? Mm. We, 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 we have to start to do things in a pragmatic and practical way and stop being rhetoric and reality for I and I have to meet at some point. And right now they don't meet. So how do we make this rhetoric become the reality? And it's only through raising our capacity to do it. So when we look at His Majesty, the fundamental objective in Ethiopia's modernization plan was through education. Not only building the institutions, but before the institutions could be built, identifying the ones who have the capacity to go out, get the training, come back, and help teach and help build. When we look at Marcus Garvey, you couldn't be a member in the UNIA without training. You couldn't, you, you, you could not read, not write. You could not know civics. You could not know. You have you to see, learn. You see. That's the only way the place is going to build. And if we don't mm -hmm. approach them, simple strategies, education is the foundation of development. Mm -hmm. So we don't embrace an atmosphere of mm -hmm. structured education to bring tangible and specific results. Mm -hmm. We can continue to be in the same shoe we in. So like Marcus said, if other nations could do it, why we can't do it? If we don't do it, we're going to do it. Look at Singapore. Sure. In the earth. Look at the history of Singapore. A little conclave. In the 1950s, Singapore and Ghana were basically on the same social economic stratosphere. But if you look at the strategies, the people of Singapore employed, and the government of Singapore employed to build them, Singapore is a part of what they call the first world. So we have to be able to look at life around us and learn from it and see what is good and do what is good and not just sit back and say everything going to fall in place because if we don't make it happen, it ain't going to happen. True, my God. No? Yes. So not only that, like, me within myself, I just see a confusion and a lot of our rhetoric breeds the confusion to people when we speak. Uh, we, 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 we have to leave rhetoric for rhetoric for what it is and let's deal with the reality. You know? Let, let's come together and really fit ourselves. Cause when you look at the UNIA plan, Liberia, a five-year plan, sit down, draft out, and talk through. I was well on its way to being implemented until such sabotage, right? Where are, where are our plans? 
where, 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 where's the, 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 the scientific input towards our efforts we're doing? Where's, where, 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 where's taking into example the reality of causality, cause and effect in our doings towards development of ourselves? Just look at our internal struggle for organization and centralization amongst ourselves. Hmm. Take these things, for example, you know, let's, let, let's look at it from, from that level. Why we can't even organize ourselves. And, and me personally, I feel it's true lack of, 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 of human capacity, lack of ones who have the skills and training necessary to do. Uh, even when we find those, we have lack of trust in those. Because why? Ones don't know what they know. So we got a lot of learning to do. We got a lot of studying to do, and that's why the study group is so necessary. For oh, say this is so necessary for us to take the time and have discussions on tangible things, tangible solutions, because we all know our problem. But until we as a people develop the capacity to do better, and not just do better in the, mo in the, in the moralistic sense, but in the physical sense of doing better, we're going to be stuck in the situation and, uh, and we ain't going nowhere. So when we say nation building, what we're trying to build, if you listen to the rhetoric, our rhetoric, it sounds like we is Christian and Muslim and Jew who want a monopoly on God and bring the world onto our way of seeing things. That, that ain't going to happen. So what, what, what we're trying to build when we say as Bobo nation building is the question I still this, 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 this be wanting to have a concise answer on. What are we trying to build? What nation are we trying to build? So if we're trying to build a universal African nation, we have to understand we only have a part in that. We ain't going to control that. Practical. So, like I say, I'd employ everybody go get race first and pan Africanism. Study them books. You'll understand nation building and the ideological basis for Gavi more and more, more clear. Because to me, we can't talk nation building and talk John, ba John the Baptist. We got to talk Marcus, Messiah, Gavi. We got to study Marcus, Messiah, Gavi when we talk in nation building. You know? We, 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 we offer to, to, to see the reality in front of us. How, 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 how do we enfranchise ourselves? How do we create economy? How do we build Sovereignty. These are questions and they need answers. And the answers there in front of us, you know, it's just that we don't have the human capacity to meet the challenge. So therefore, it's incumbent upon us to get that capacity, to raise that capacity, to raise that standard. The man say he looked for the man, Army, Navy, Air Force, a man of big affairs. He couldn't find it, so he decided he was going to go build it. And he built it through educating people, identifying the people who are the skill to help teach others the skill. So we say economics, we got to understand economics, global economics. We say we want repatriation, we got to understand law, we got to understand politics and global politics. So we, we have a lot to do and we have to learn, man. I, I just implore us all to learn because at this point, like Malcolm X say, and this is why I respect them, man, them, he say only a fool that is enemy educated children. So what Elijah Mom and them do, they built their own school system. They built homeschooling as a thing in America and transform it into schools all over now that none of their people have to go 
into the institutions of the West to learn. Hmm. That's the practical start oh, educating ourselves. Practical. Mm. So if, if we ain't ready to think outside the box, we gonna forever be in the box. I love them. Oh. <laughs> Give yeah. thanks, Ja Benton. Yeah, that was a, a lot. You had to listen to that one a couple of times to catch all of that, but very yeah, much on point. Uh, some good points. Uh, all right, we had three hands raised, Empress. You could, if they willing to let you go ahead of them, then you can go next. No, I'll wait to know. I'll okay. wait, Bobo. I'll all wait right. on my time. Okay. Honorable Jasik, my lord, you can unmute yourself. Bless the love, my Lord and Empress. Worthy God, bless the love. Holy Manuel I, Celestia I, Yeah, my Lord. You know we love being black. Why do you all hate us black people so? Is it because we are God? True man. So you see this thing is war, my Lord. It's war. It's war against our black nation, you know? Mm -hmm. It's war against our and I because these nations come together now and say that we cut them off from being a nation, which is Anai, Israel. Them come to cut we off. And in the name of Israel, maybe no more remembrance. So is that what the white will do? So as the virgin reason now is education with the spiritual awakening. The spiritual awakening because the how we under Trinidadian, Bahamians, Antiguans, Jamaicans, these one people, if you ask, I'll show you that. But okay. through slavery, we come and get scattered for now. But we one people, same way. It was we're all gods and goddesses. So awakening with black brothers and sisters now to who we really is and the value we really have and these things. A continent, we don't want an island. We have to educate them with the spiritual awakening, which is righteous salvation. Because one of the greatest things, my Lord, to exalt a nation is righteousness, my Lord, with our clean hands and our pure heart. That what the black Christ come and do for we. We come and set the foundation, my Lord, which is a priestly, a priesthood nation. That the nation we building back in this time, my Lord, in the last days. The black Christ come with that template, my Lord, to be back a priesthood nation. From our prophet, you know, he come to our priest, clean hands and our pure heart. You know, he let the light shine. So that men could glorify be God in Zion, my Lord. We brothers and sisters and even other nations to go see light and come to it, my Lord. And righteousness, my Lord, in that way the people come together, my Lord. You know, so it's a nation building with a priesthood, a holy nation, my Lord. This thing must have righteousness, righteousness my Lord, in it, my Lord. Because that is redemption, you know, the righteousness. But we give thanks for the week still, you know, going by still, you know. We give thanks for the man with barely five bleeding wounds, you know, the black Christ in flesh, you know. We give thanks, you know, because he come to redeem Israel, you know. The man bear five bleeding wounds for the redemption of the black house of Israelites, universally. And to take away the sins of the world, the black Christ, he was crucified in Egypt, Jamaica. He was in the park on a Wednesday. He was, and he rise up on Friday morning, bright and early, to meet his Sabbath. From 6 Friday to 6 Saturday p.m. This is why we have Good Friday. Because the black Christ rise, he rose on our Friday to meet his Sabbath. The Lord of the Sabbath ever live it. Holy Manuel I, Celestia. That's the far right. Yeah. So we give thanks for the Holy Big going show. I come and learn from one of the elders to during this weekend, my Lord, you know, well, we all be cautious. But I learn from one of the elders, you know, like on the Tuesday itself. The Black Tuesday. I come and learn that Tuesday is known as the Black Tuesday. I know that Ellis said was still coming to it after still, you know? I hear that day we don't really make no sort of traditional thing because it's a day we really take and set ourselves to prepare for your double Sabbath and these things, you know? So I give thanks for the Black Week moving tree, you know? We give thanks for the resurrection of the Black Christ in flesh. Holy Manuel I, Celestia, Cha, Rastafari. Yeah, my Lord. Yeah, thanks, my Lord. Honorable Prophet Winston, my Lord, you can unmute yourself, please. Thanks again, my Lord. Same way, you know? 
Give thanks again for the word song and power cousin. The man may not come show me a long time. It's him book and Bible and rather than stuff, same way, you know. That is the meditation of this Congress. But you know, every man just pointing them, them fingers upon ones and ones, same way. But you have to point your finger upon yourself, you know, because just say, you will tell them about yourself, you know. You have to talk about self, self that self awareness, self control. That is why I teach in school, you know. That is Rastafari. Right? But um, when I, I check in the whole powers of this thing here, you know, man, you know, it's, it's too long. And I've been talking and, you know, put the words to action you now, man. Come up with some financial papers you now, because you know, look what Celestia is set in Ethiopia, one of the biggest electrical dam. You know, as you see it when you cut the ribbon, you know, to get certain part of Ethiopia current, you know, as you see it, you know. Once and once, sometimes you even want to pay tax, you know, as, but when you pay tax, it contributes to the development of the system, the earth, you know. The kind of people out that have nurses, that have doctors, that have people out there, same way. We benefit in the same way. The man say, tent are the spoil. And the man ain't talk of nothing else, you have stop. You over the man say, if you're chatting in the road, you see 10 cents on the ground, you take it up and you mark a 10, you over the seat. Then you are contributing to you. Sometimes within the process. The man show we all them powers there in a rasta. You over as we see the man, we know the man, we walk with the man in vision, we talk with the man in vision, you have we know the tabernacle of Zion, you know. So if we come set this thing here, Rasta, we ain't pointing with finger upon, we don't go and don't go. This is what we're talking about now. This is, Baba Shanti, you know, is a, is a meditation and the same was still. But this is the time now we we'll meditate, same and climb to Zion. Let me put you over as all the resources where we have sometimes. My Raja, Raja Winston, pardon me. What do you mean pointing the finger over? And what, my Lord? No, not fighting, nothing is never fighting. Fighting, pointing, you said, not fighting, pointing. Like, like, like within, um, like the develop, when I say pointing a finger, now, but you might come and say, you ain't calling a name, but you might come and say, we, everyone within the other, we, we could do certain things within, we say, but we ain't doing it. Just like all the brother reason universal, I reason universal too. You over, know, I reason about no one, then I reason about myself, same way, you know. So it's like we can we can we can put we can put it together, Rasta. You see, I have a piece of land here, Rasta, a ginger I cultivate. And if I could get a hundred sack of ginger, I will invest the paper within Bobo Shanti and the development of Bobo Shanti. Because no one ain't going to give her the paper, no one ain't going to give her a hundred thousand dollars if you develop certain things to make a start. I have to do it for myself, same way over, as you know. So that's when I, 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 you know, but it go take a time. We go come in, you know? we go come because we ain't really trust one another. You see, we ain't really trust one another. If we really had a trust with one another, same way, you know, we could do, we could do enough things, Rasta. Enough things we could do, Rasta. You over, know, We can come to together, we can buy a minivan, we can get a country to run it. Because what? Look at St. Lucia, Grenada, and all them places there. Bobo Shanti need to start to teach people and start to capture this place within the oversee right. You know, Kahili Silasi, I say, when the world modernized, modernized with it, you know. So we now run from nothing. We, we, we have to develop, you know. Whether you could read or you could write, because the man we're eating out of the garbage pan, he still can come up and wash up the ginger and them, you know. Because he know wrong from right, same way, you know. So we can do things together as a nation and not. You know, I find we too, you know, as a Congress, we could do more. But every one of us just watching one another, who going to make the first start, you know, who going to make this, who going to make the first. But we can do it. I know we can do it. I know Bobo Shanti, because the man say now, his laws are going to be above all laws in this time. So which means the man who will government have a rule the earth, you know, in everything, you know, in sowing, in, in farming, in, in plumbing, in electrical, everything the man show you, because every man will get the full knowledge. A King Emmanuel, give thanks again for the reason, my Lord and Empress. Give thanks, Joe Winston. <laughs> Valid points. You know, I think really, I'm going to call on Empress Leanne, but I want to say one quick point. Like what Joe Benton was saying, as far as education to build the capacity to be able to develop to a certain level, I think we really should, you know, as adults, yeah, there's still time for us to get more education, but our children, you know, being that we have a direction, you know, even like the Psalm says that their arrows, 
you know, our children are arrows, you know, we can, we can guide them and aim them, you know, towards helping to, you know, nation build. Yeah, we just have to find their interests, find what they're naturally good at and, and foster developing that, that talent, that skill, that love that they have, that passion, and they can grow up to be, you know, what we couldn't be. They should be greater than us. So anyway, just a quick point I wanted to make, Empress Leanne, you could um, unmute yourself. Empress Leanne. All right, Empress Maisie. Yeah, my Lord. On my phone, give thanks again for all the reasons. Yes, sir. Yeah, my Lord, you know, I listen to the Honorable Bridge and them, and even touching the point of education, you know, such an important topic as education. You know, I have two set of children, right? I'm speaking about myself as Joe Winston, say, okay? I have two sets of children, right? The first set didn't get to go to school to take up their basic and their primary, right? But I sent them off when it was very late, 13, 14, and 15. The second set started from the hour three, right? So they get what the bigger set never get. Now, you see, when I take that um, drastic move, you know, I thought I was committing a great scene. The Congress, the, for the, for, uh, the members of the Congress thought I was committing a great scene, right? To send my children to school. No, to learn, to get an education, right? No, when I learned that my father, Selassie, was a minister, minister of education in Ethiopia, I said, oh my God. Because what I learned at Bobo Camp is like, it was a sin to send your children to school. You understand? And if you cannot read or you cannot write, if you don't have an education, or you have a donation building. Hmm? Or you're going to build a nation and you cannot read. You don't understand what you're doing. Hmm? You tell me now how you're going to build a nation and you cannot read and you cannot write. Hmm? The next thing I get out of this reasoning here, no matter what, how it goes on, you have to work together. We have to work together. That means, as King Emmanuel always said in his speech, right, that we have to work together. Brothers and sisters have to come together and work together to get things done. So come back and listen to this reason here. It's all about unity. Hmm? If, we don't, if we don't have any unity, one man cannot build a nation. No man is an island and no man stands alone. Dada, Dada God is the creator. Hmm? Yet still the father having disciples them around him. Him one could do it, you know. Because Dada created the earth him alone in six days and rested on the seventh day. Same them for anyone but the man still having more and disciples them around him. Empress, Empress, Empress Maisie, we can barely hear you right now. I don't know. Okay, that's better. What happening? That's better. Okay. So as, as I was saying, no man is an island and we have to work together near and far to build a nation. Right? We have to come together. We have to work together. That's what Dada said. We have yes. to work together. Right? Now, one man can do it. And we can't just get up a talk, talk, talk. We have a lot of talk, talk, talk. But we need to walk, walk, walk with the talk. You understand? 
Now is the time. There's no better time than now for I and I people, Bobo Shanti people, the black people to come together. Can you see what going? My grand, some, you can't even go to a small island now and you're not getting the vaccine. You have to get the vaccine to go to a, to a country right now. You can see where we are. We are, you know, see. So these people are bringing down things on us and we cannot sit like we are comfortable. We are not comfortable and we need to work together. We need to come together, family. You know, see. Yes, sir. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And get things done, Mark. I know it's a time we are in serious time. I let go of the Willie Lynch syndrome. Yeah, you see. Mm. So all kinds of things are reach us right now. And soon we might not be able to even go nowhere if we don't have certain things. If we don't get the chip, the chip is right there. This is right there, starting from the vaccine, the chip is right there. And if we don't take that chip, we're not here, but we're not even going to be able to build a, 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 a whatever, much as we go build a nation, we don't, we're not able to go in. If we don't take the chip, we may, we may not be able to move, go anywhere, or to even go and get anything at the store, you know? We might not be able to even go at the hospital when we are sick. If we don't take the chip, then we are not be able to do what? Nothing. And we're into that process right now, family. So the happy, the better, the quicker we work together, right? Is the better for us to get out of here. Because we are holding our holding down ourselves down here in hell. Because we are divided and we are apart. So no matter how we talk. Yeah, what is what and what was said and all of that. Deal with now, present now, what is happening. What is happening right now? It is before our eyes. And we are hearing it and we see it. Right? So, my brothers, my sisters, this is what I'm, this is my calling today. As Boba Shanti will get the teaching from the Almighty God Himself. It's time for us to talk, talk, and stop. Say this and say that, and let us do this. Let us start to work together, because we are not together. And no matter how I want to go tell me, we are still not together. You see? And it is, this is what is going to bring us to our repatriation when we are working together. Yes, when we are working together near and far, when we, when we are working together and we are ready, then our repatriation will come, right? I'm not looking for any documents because my father, King Emmanuel, didn't promise, didn't say, I have to go have documents to go home. The man promised us that he will take us home and I am waiting on that. Right? That is what Dada promised us, to take us back to our own. You see? So my family, please oh, don't let us delay. Eh? Let us come together, family, near and far. Those who can help, you know, those who sit in their position that they can help, yeah? And those who cannot find finance, put your strength, put your willingness for us to do what we have to do. And the quicker we do it, and the better, and the faster, you will see our job manifest. We walk and we get for, and the, and the, you know, we get worship for go on. I give thanks. Give thanks, I give and thanks my Lord. Blessed Lord. Yes, I. <clears throat> yeah. Um, you know, a few of the things that's been mentioned, you know, when it comes to nation building, as far as Bobo Shanti is concerned specifically, is like without, all right, 
without a proper government structure in place. It's really hard for us to do anything because nobody has any real authority and anybody who's not appointed by the whole Congress to do something is going to face scrutiny if they try to do something. You know, if that makes sense to basically if you if you're not if you ain't King Emmanuel right now, you can't just do something in the name of the Congress. So waiting on the Congress to get together to do something could take years. Might not ever happen. I, mean, I shouldn't say that, but it could take years. It's taken years and it's still where it is, you know? So it's like, as a group, as a whole Congress, unless we have a, a, a proper governmental structure, parliament, you know, what more can you do besides work with a group of people and not, not say it's the whole Congress? Like say, for instance, if, if everybody on this particular study group, if we all said we wanted to buy some land together and move ourselves to Ethiopia, that would happen faster than waiting on the Congress to get it together because the Congress itself, it, there's too much Willie Lynch mentality for us to wait for, I mean, for it all to come together to say that we're going to try to move forward as far as I see it. I think um, ones would be better off until there's a real functioning parliament that's actually, you know, don't stand, doing, having procedures and, you know, ministering and they have infrastructure and transparency and all of these things to, to, fund, to have the money and deal with it properly and to tell, send people on missions and stuff like that. Until it gets to that level, we can't really just sit and wait, you know? So I would say do it, in my opinion, and this is just my opinion, you do what you can with who is willing to do something towards repatriation and, and hope that the Congress will come together or get over a certain mentalities and either join in or do something that you could join in. But to wait on this whole Congress to get together, it's been over 30 years and we still having power struggle and anybody who does anything you know, oh, who do you think you are and that kind of stuff. So it's like discouraging for anyone to even try to do anything, really. Yeah. I mean, that's just my observation right now. That's what I see. Because I see people, I see I see ones doing good, but I don't see the, the house supporting them. And I'm not talking of myself. I'm saying in general, I see people doing good, but the Congress don't endorse it. So, yeah. That's my say on that. Yeah, the, the floor is free. The floor is open. Nation building. Yeah. Right on in, bro. <laughs> Blessed love, my Lord. Give thanks to all things still undone. Yes, I'm Christian. Until this blessed hour. Once a creation pastor. Really? Boom. Like. I broke up. All. Yeah, we're not. We're not hearing you, my brethren. We're not hearing you. Billionaires. God. Please, Matthew. Best of love. Okay, we weren't hearing you good. It was broken up real bad. Yeah, man. Speak now. Welcome. All right. The floor is open. Yeah, I mean, I probably for okay. I think no the nation building. Yes, sir. I'm gonna go. Yes, yeah, we're here, you know. Speak now, speak now. Sounds wrong. Yeah, I mean, I said just like how we did here, probably I made it yet. Oh, mm -hmm. probably I saw the, the fall. Mm. Oh, 
Oh. Ja, Matthew. When I'm done, I want to oh, follow somebody I said, you know. Okay. Priest Matthew, it ain't working, my lord. It's breaking Matthew, up. You need, Matthew, you need to go up a yard, man. Go up where you can't get the free okay. picture for this. We want to mm-hmm. hear what you say, you know, Jamatio. We want to hear what you say. But you need to go up a yard, my lad. You need to go where the frequency is. You come like him down at the yard. Go up on the hill, Matthew. Come here, come here. All right. Bless you, Lord. Bless you, my Lord. All right. We'll praise Doggy. Go through, my Lord. Yes, my Lord. You know, um, sometimes we're afraid, the, we're afraid of the, the hard talk at the Virgin. Huh? Hold on, my Lord. Let me mute. Right here. Yeah, sometimes we're afraid of the hard talk, you know, and the straight reasoning, you know. And we don't want no one to be offended by any soul, you know. But we, we have we have to put all the cards on the table, and we are all adults here. I don't think we have any under 18 on the line. So, and this is our life, you know. This is not, we are not members of a club. This is not something that we do today and then we go home and we don't revisit it until next week, another time. You know, Ayana is Bobo Ashanti. Our life, man like me, I have, uh, from my 12 year old till now, my big old gray year, man. You understand? This is all I man know. This is our liberty. See? So we have to talk, we have, we have to have introspection. And that is part of our study group, looking at topics in a practical way. Not in a romantic way and, and, and not just in a in a little, you know, um way that's you know, just just to be politically correct, you know. But to have the hard talk. With that said, you know, it's reality. Without structure, we can't do much as a entity, you know, as a, as the EABIC. That is why you have man and man have their own way of contributing to nation building as Bobo, because the house itself is not conducive to that. I have workers, you know, like I and I, that's not, that, that, the father teach I and I, what are we waiting for? After you are taught and you know the way, the man show you the way and said, this is how you, want you do your thing. And this is how it is to be done. And this is what it's about. He gave us the aim, the objectives, seeing the mission, him detail it out. Him say if you don't if you don't get where I say look on Gavi because the, the work is Gavi work. Him come for finish Gavi work. So we have all of the legacy of Gavi, you know, that Gavi lay out, you know, from the writings of Tony Martin, Rupert Lewis, all of them, the, 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 the philosophy and opinion, the message to the people, all of them, the book of poetry, all of them lay out a meditation that I and I must have as a people trying to reconstruct ourselves. See? But at this point, the, the house is not functional. It's not, it's not, you know, I know ones ones feel a way when them hear them sound, but it's just reality. It's not functional. There's no structure, you know, see, to do the practical nation building that we need to do. We can romanticize it in in in, in the talk shop, you know, but on the practical level, you know. And I man must say, I man give thanks. Jabenton took the time out to, to, to call in today. Because, you know, sometimes we need that, that, that other voice too, along with the voices that here, because he laid it out in a, a Garvey way, you know, in, 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 in the way Garvey, as the father of African nationalism, would lay it out as, as the father of Pan Africanism or Pan African liberty, would lay it out. You know, practical. We need to face this thing real. All right, if we can't function as a collective ABIC. Now, remember, you know, when, when I and I roll this call up yonder and we are asked, you know, did we fulfill our mission? I can't give no excuse, say, is Ja Daniel make I never finish it because Ja Daniel never gave enough time to talk on the on the talk shop, you know. And I can't say is is Mama Mezi because Mama Mezi always, you know, take a certain Yes, time. I said that all the while. And I yes. can't we have to answer for ourselves. Yes, yes. 
Yes. You understand? And because of that, what are we going to say each individual? What excuse are we going to give? You mm. understand? Because, the man, left with, because the man left with all things. The, the, the greatest thing in there is to man and woman know thyself. And he, mm. he, he laid out that. There's, the curriculum is there for us to know ourselves. Look within. Look within. Search out your consciousness. See? Adhere to the principles that have been laid out from ancient times, those, those laws of Mayat, you understand, that even supersede the Ten Commandments, you understand, because it, it gives us the full scope of how as humans, I and I must adhere to principle, see, so we have no excuse, little more for say why we never do what we do, now, where are the like minds? I hear Joe Winston call, you know, I hear it, in my, you know, you know, he has his own way of putting his message across, you know? Yes. Some, mm -hmm. But I hear the call where he, he said, do something tangible, put some money together. All right. And I totally agree, Joe Winston. Yes. But you hear the thing? Ja Daniel point out the elephant in the room. We have to have structure. We have to have a transparency. That means that we have to have capable people in place. And, they are, and those people are there. It's just that. We have lost their trust or their confidence or whatever. You know, we take too long to get the thing together. You understand? People been waiting for so long for the Congress to get together from that and move to see which direction the Congress is going to go that once can come and apply them strength to it. You understand? If we're going up the hill and we're pushing the, the truck up the hill, all right, we know so we're going up the hill, so everyone will come put the strength to push in the truck up the hill and we'll get it up the hill. But we are yet to know what direction the Congress is going in because there are those that don't want us to know. Every time we try to get it together, there are those that stand in the way of progress. Now, when are we going to assume responsibility and ease those ones out of the way? Because we can't make no one man can't, like them said, no one monkey can't stop my show. We can't make no one man stop the development of a nation. So what is the excuse I and I have as Bobo Ashanti, as the EABIC right now, to say we are not functioning because this click over there and then something is wrong. We have to revisit, you know, our motives then and our reasons for being Ashanti priests. Yes, my lad, I don't want to believe it, but you know, when you touch them topic, they kind of they kind of invoke a certain amount of vibe in I because I'm very passionate about. You know, the reason why the house is not functioning. Because when the father moved, the house was a functional house. The house was involved in many aspects of nation building. See, we were interfacing with government. That is how I learned to interface with government. That's how I learned to write letters to heads of government. You understand? That's how I learned governmental approach and structure. Through that a teaching, through the man sent up on mission, and when we come for the man educate way, when we are give him, give him our report, he may correct we and show what we do wrong and what we should have done, or he may, he may congratulate you for what we did right. See? Good day, so, go by it all 10 times, my lad. You have to get the letter right, good day? Oh, yeah. if you have to go by it all the time. So we don't have no excuse right now for say, well, this is the reason and that is the reason, Rasta. See, now we keep talking about these places, wherever a branch of the EABIC is. That is Bobo Hill, you know. Hey! I, I forget that, you know, we, we, we're calling you now, wherever there is a branch that is functioning under the auspices of King Emmanuel Charles Edwards. See, and that means that they're adhering to the sabbatical principles and the whole principles mm -hmm. of the foundation. It oh, is Bobo Hill. Mm -hmm. See, so they just want them just need to go on function, link up branch to branch, make we work out with economic affairs, with governmental affairs, how we're going to agitate to the various governments since them have a thing named Caricom now. They have a thing named Caricom. We do have to approach government one away. Just like how they, you have the EAU and you have the United Nations. There's a thing named Caricom. We can address Caricom and when we address them, we are, we are, we are addressing all the member states. So there's all kinds of you know, ways in which we can do our affairs. We just need to sit down and do it. And stop Unity. Looking, yeah, stop looking to others to do for us what we can do for ourselves. That was a teaching of Gavi, you know. 
we're always talking about Marcus Garvey. That was the teaching of Marcus Garvey. Stop looking to others to do for I and I what I and I can do for ourselves. We keep on talking, say we are God and we are goddess. Okay, now, what do we mean? We have some cartoon sure. God. What kind of God do we mean if we're not a power? God has power, you know. We are, we, we, we are minimized God, you know. We are devalue God then, you know. If we just are we just using the word and say we are God, we are God. Where is that creative ingenuity? Where is that courage? You know, where is that oneness? Where is that love, that unity? If we are God, those are the things that we have to exhibit. And it is missing from among I and I. See, I give thanks for this little group. This little group is trying its best. Yes. You know, see it. Yes. But we want to see it spread. You see, you see how we stony heart and we stubborn and we stiff neck. Don't feel say others that in other clicks not listening, you know, going on the YouTube yes. and wherever. They are and listening. You know, reasoning, you know, because them want to learn to, you know, but them shame face and stony heart. See? Mm -hmm. Man, to give up the shame face and stony heart and come rasta, make we unite no. and do what it's not about me and there, you know. This is bigger than any individual person. Sure. That's what me and family do, you know. It is a collectiveness. It is a oneness. It's a solidarity. Yes, my lord. Give thanks. Give Sorry thanks. to be so Give thanks, Jama. That was my lord. Give thanks. Yes. Okay. All right. Yes, I um, give thanks, my lord. Um, Honorable Prophet Winston, my lord, you had your hand up. And then Empress Leanne, did you want to speak again? Yes, my lord. All right. <laughs> After John Winston, the RV next. Give thanks again, the man say blessed. When the man, when King Emmanuel say blessed, he means blessed every man walking not in the council of the ungodly. So he just fulfilled Psalms on. And a certain one's the answer, certain house, same way. So I'll say something same way. My lad, the overs as he priest say, my lad, we have to put, we have to forgive. We, you know, we have to forgive. You know, that's the biggest thing I see. The overs going on with Taylor and I, you know, it's like we do a wrong, our ones and ones do a wrong, we want to hold it for everlasting upon the person and upon the individual, my lad. My lad, we have to chew with them petty things, eh, my lad. We can't build a nation with them ways, they eh, bubble. This is the time now, this is the 21st century. We see we have much time because the water table we raising and the West have to perish, my lad. So we have to start to put things together. If we chat out easy, and don't make no commercial. You have two, three, four, five, and we just get a ticket. We just find the route and we just, them just leave out. And then by the time 10 years, Babylon, the whole of the Congo said, the whole of we don't go on already, you know. But everything yeah. we do, everything we do, we just want to bring it up, they bring it up, they yeah, make them know. Then we know what we're doing, what we're doing, what we're doing. What we're doing. We have to tell them what we're doing. Marcus Garvey saying that we're we mining that we own private business, you know. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the most, you know, shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty King Emmanuel, you know. So we mind, we hold meditation of mind where we're using. We have to start to give royal call, royal telephone call to ones and ones you now, and reason upon the line to see what we can do together. You of us who can contribute papers, get to a tailor, same chest, and contribute fabric, and we put it into clothes. We get the thing serious. We have to create. Not just taking out a jersey out of store and print it over, but building a jersey. Like how we used to build Sunday in, in Bobo Hill, you know, build Banner, build Row, build Kaba. We have to start to show we walks, you know, put we walks out so we walks can be holy, so it can connect upon the earth. My Lord and Empress, we have yeah, to do you have, showing, you have showing shop in a Bobo Hill, you know, Bobo showing shop, there they I go there, Mama, I go there and I, is there I so? Is there I so recognize myself as a tailor? Like I saw it, Priest Mark and Bill Rob and Bill Ban and I think within the Congress, same way. So to the mm -hmm. past now, it's like, I, Mama, I can't be wrong. yeah, I check myself within myself and say, all these things happening in creation already, you know. So I see it happening in the camp and I give thanks, same way, because I chat creation already. So we have to come and do it together. We could do it together, my lad, but we just need one man to make that start the rasta. Put your differences aside. Forget the, the little petty things. You know, I know no man, I know enough man who want to take reggae money and all them things, you know, but it says that them decide to bring a vibes and, and it to contribute to a school and to contribute to something. Let me get the program doing, no man. 
Nous voulons dire que nous devons nous faire des choses. Nous voulons dire que nous devons nous faire des choses. 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 So we, have, we have to stop it right now. Now is the time we have to stop it, my lad. I appeal him. Whoever no. listening, whoever listening, four wings, pay attention. Right now, we are serious more than ever. We are waiting upon, 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 upon even the foundation to organize. You know, we organize ourselves. Let we start to get in ourselves and the foundation no, now. start to come in. If they no, start no, to come in. You know? Okay. I give thanks again, my lad, for the word, song and power. Where they go? I give thanks, thanks, my lord. lord. Honorable Empress Leanne, the floor is yours. Bless the love, my Lord and Empress. Bless the love. Hello, sister. Yes, I give thanks for life and the mighty life give out. Yeah, that's the family life. Right. And before the I start, Empress, before the I start, I and I want the I to know, sir, I and I did miss the I presence in the last couple. All the time. Minutes. So, I, and I just want the I to know that also. Yes, sister, yeah. If thanks, please. Please, yeah. 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 Well, I have another little um, problem, so we're keeping connected. So, Ja Daniel, if I get cut off my Lord and reasoning still on and I come on, I will give thanks a moment to continue what I have to say, my Lord. Give thanks. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Understood. Understood. Yes, my Lord and Empress. Well, give thanks for life, my Lord, and the mighty life giver. Give thanks for the black Christ and flesh which brought us together, our President God and King, King Emmanuel the Seventh. Yes, I will give thanks for the reasoning and the topic that moving through. You know, I don't, I, to be honest, I don't know much, how, you know, have much education on it, on nation building, you know, the ins and the oh, outs of it, you know, so I give thanks still to for the enlighten, enlightenment and the education and the knowledge that moving through this still, you know. When I look, I went to the dictionary, I went to the dictionary you now to look for the meaning and, of a nation, nation. And it says, the people of one country who usually live together, speak one language and have the same government. That is what it say here, right? So it, 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 it sounds familiar to I and I to me, you know. And yes, my lord, my lord, to be on my lord and empress, to be to be honest, when I see the meaning of nation, yeah, it is only one thing could make this this thing come together, unity. We all say it, and it's, yes. it's only ah, unity. Yes. yes, I could bring a government and a people together of one language, and you know the same aim and these things. It it all boils down to unity again and again and again you know it's like sometimes i just wonder if everybody will not that job will leave out everybody you know but if it will take everybody to do the particular work you know just just the front thoughts they still you know but it take heart it take heart too you see the ones that really have the heart to do it you know it will be it's like the rivers coming to the sea, you know, like different rivers that is coming in a different direction, you know, from the same aim going to the sea, you know, and then they all reach the same destination or accomplish the same des destination. They still, you know, the point where Priest, um, Priest Doggy bring up on, on sovereign, on sovereign, uh, with a sovereign nation. That's a, that's a, that's a great point there, you know, and the, the meaning of sovereign, when I look on it, is as I'm a monarch, you know, and that's like a rulership, that's a ruler, a king or a queen, supreme, excellent. That's the kind of meaning that goes with sovereign, that is, that is I and I. And it's only unity again, my Lord and Empress, could bring us to such 
heights and agreement they still, you know? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. True. Yes, mm -hmm. I do. It, it, it's been, if correct me, Empress, my Lord and Empress, the man, the man won't name something Winston or Winston something. I don't know if I have it correct that speak about what they put into black people and will take how much are thousands of years or centuries to come out of them. You know, I'm like you really no. didn't speak now. You know, I am not fire and I suffer Winston from that. Winston Churchill, movie. Mama. Yeah, Winston Churchill. Yeah, That's Winston Churchill. Movie. Yeah, man, Winston Churchill. Yeah, that word. Yeah. Yes, I am. Oh, yes. Like a like serious point there, you know. But we you know, who come to the Black Christ now? We come and, you know, Jack come and show we are certain portal, you know, the, like the key, you know, a certain antidote now to... to you know, to fight for what them vibes they still, you know, we're going to be perfect at it. But when we have the heart to come together in unity, we go really, really get it done, you know. As in my Lord was saying, I don't know his name. You know, if we, if we don't make it happen, it ain't going to happen. You understand? That will stand. That yes, will stand. Yes, and, you know, let us deal with the reality. You know, let us deal with the reality. And it takes a lot of learning too. It takes a lot of ins and outs of learning certain things and understanding certain things, you know. Give thanks to the dong set to my Lord and Empress. The horn I blow up on this side here still, you know. Give thanks oh, to give the thanks. Dong my Lord and Empress. Give thanks. Yes, Bless and my Lord. Lord and Empress, you know, just, just, just have a, a it, it's so much the same, Majesty. You see, concerning mm -hmm. education, Mm -hmm. Education, the best education I ever get is here. You know, education mm -hmm. is, is the best education. Just today, I tell you, Empress, if I did apply myself to Babylon education, if I apply myself here, I would have gained yeah, real and passes. And the kind of yes. things I learn here, I learn words, I learn spirituality, I, I learn things to do with the queen and governmental and things that far, 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 far from me, you know. So you see that for spiritual education there, you understand? And, and the key, you know, love is the key and these different things. Them thing is serious thing, my Lord and Empress. Them thing will really bring the unity, my Lord and Empress, you know? If thanks yeah. to the person and praying still going through the resurrection, we come in, give thanks to the, the resurrection coming in, give thanks to the risen lamb. You know, they couldn't keep the man down. They still give thanks to the risen lamb. Give thanks to the fasting and praying. I remember Priest Doggy in the early say we should fast and pray for, for love and respect. You know, where Priest Doggy, I, I, I kept that, uh, you know, I kept that to uh, heart. That was one of the reasons that I fast for, you know, love and respect within the Congress, my Lord, you know. So it's just time, you know, go to bring up everything they still, you know, which could bring the unity. My Lord and Empress, it all boils down to unity again to really get the real aim and object done, you know, my Lord and Empress. But I give thanks to be here again. I give thanks to the warm welcome, you know. It makes me feel good, you know. I feel good. So give thanks for all loved ones in Rastafari. And give thanks for all strength. Holy Manuel eyes, last year. Jadaniel, I have to tip out, I'll be tipping back in here, Jadaniel. So I'll go out for a little bit and I'll be back in, okay? All right, my, we'll, we'll my, be right here. True Empress, my Lord and Empress, just, just one more point I want to bring up. Yeah, here I am, am my Lord talking about forgiveness. Forgiveness is not an easy work, you know. I, 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 I hear a yeah, pastor say that in a movie, this week kind of uh, is a serious thing. Forgiveness is not an easy work, especially when somebody deeply hurt, you know. But it is, it is a way to peace, you know. Yes, I, so we just have to ask God sometimes to really help you to forgive, you know, especially when you're deeply hurt, you know. I personally just have to ask for that to really find that portal because sometimes we say we forgive, you know, because that is what we're supposed to do as godly people, but in we heart, it really hurt and still you know. So sometimes it is ask really ask God to give the strength and work that powers within, you know, to find that portal, you know, of forgiveness, you know, which will help bring the love and respect and the unity, you know, my Lord and Empress, give thanks again, you know. And Marcus, the honorable Marcus Garvey is a good example. 
the nation building, my Lord and honorable empresses. Blessed love. Worthy. Mm -hmm. Thank Give thanks for the word. Um, honorable Prince Matthew, your connection better, my Lord. My Lord. Got it. Speak to me. Yeah, I can hear you. Blessed love. Blessed love, my yeah, Lord. Yeah, give thanks for everything, my Lord. Give know. thanks for another study. Study group going strong, you know. Give thanks for the one them who come out to study with each other and, and the word of truth and on the word of life. The man say, we're one or two. We're one or two are gathered, you know. He's here in the midst to bless, you know. Uh, we know we are in our mind, and you know that's all we need to conquer the evil white world. Jaovia, yeah, yeah. Rastafari. Rastafari. Well, my lord and empress, nation building is not just a, a thing like no, you know, them probably use it now in a different word in a them English language, you know. But they could have go way back, way back, way back down to when the Almighty. Create, uh, create I and I, or him that thing for Bill I and I, and how him got you, and till our uh, Lucifer did come to him one at a time, and Lucifer tell him, say, How you need for put life in I, I know. <laughs> and, Lucifer, and then Lucifer, like, gone feet, and then <laughs> the Almighty, by right time Lucifer come back, the Almighty, Bill man, you see it, evil is here, I mean, I know, I know. The, the Almighty did one, Bill. And wickedness and all type of things did strong. The Almighty, the one build back in earth and the righteousness. And I owe him did have to build the nation in that time by wiping him out back for come back till we die. I said we again down here. So, so we know, say, everything have to do with the Almighty. The man say, He create and he destroy. So, we see Seja did a create a nation building by now him start away, even though it probably depends a little. So me as a youth, we born seven years after when Ja passed. Me can say me is a priest. And if Ja Daniel want me over America right now, Ja Daniel can't send it for me. Me just a say for me to come play some music. So the thing global and international, you know, but I just one thing left for you do your part and me do my part and then we can do make it be reality and the parties together and myself together at one. So if we the right here so apart now by 2020 30, I and I should have be close together, well strong and firm. We need other so we not need the evil white world. If we not do that, then it all come away, you know, because we can't go build our nation when we have things in a Babylon we have to do with that. Build up Babylon like me. Me have to go out there, go, go make sure I say, my Lord. My Lord, are you muted, maybe? You muted? Yeah, my Lord, I'm mute. John Matthew, I'm mute. You muted. Yeah. Priest Matthew. That's gone. Yeah, you have muted yourself. We didn't hear the last part of what you said. No. Yeah, right, you know, I mean, I said, I can't get back to you, no, man. To the host, yeah, man. Me listen again, and oh, if anything, you can me. Yeah. Oh, okay, thanks, my lord. <clears throat> yeah, we have to rebuild our nation. It's been, it existed for a long time. Yeah, it got tore down, as the priest said. Now we got to rebuild it once again in righteousness of salvation, preferably so it can last, you know, so it can stand for some time, you know. Yeah, sorry. Um, the floor is open again, you know, you know. The topic, nation building, resurrection, resurrecting the Christ consciousness in the African 
resurrecting the nation, the African, the strong African nation that knows itself, you know, mm -hmm. self-reliant with its own culture, its own, you know, set its own, its own ways. You know, right now, the ways of Africa is being set by the highest bidder, whether it be China, Russia, America, mm -hmm. whoever the case may be, you know. Um, but in order for us to really determine and, and rule our own destiny, we would have to have control of our own landmass and have also the ability to establish it um, using our own means and our own uh, materials, our own, phys our own human resources, our own resources in general, you know? So as the prophet, as Ja Benton was saying, you know, it would take some human capacity. We have in, intelligent African people around the world, but a lot of times they're working in, in, in Europe or in America or some other country where they can make money. You know, um, I saw something and I shared it uh, in WhatsApp where a person, I think it was Vladimir Putin. Was, yeah, actually it was Vladimir Putin was talking about Africa being a, a graveyard for African people, they, they, they leave Africa, they go, they get education somewhere else, they work somewhere else, they you know, do everything elsewhere, but then when they die, they wanna go, they want their body to be returned to their homeland. But their life, they don't wanna spend it there. Why? Because it's been depleted and brought to, as, as Walter Rodney said, you know, underdeveloped intentionally so that it's not desirable to us. And so that, you know, the people there are always hungry and always, you know, willing to sell out to the highest bidder, whether it be the poor people or the politician, they're always willing to sell out because they're hungry and they don't have anything. So anybody who comes and offers them one little crumb, they will take it rather than have nothing, you know? So it's up to us to really set it to where we're stronger than that, that we can't be bought out because our thing is already, we don't need, you know, nothing from nobody. And that would take even, you know, one aspect of nation building that nobody hasn't mentioned yet is sacrifice. It ain't something that just happened easy, you know? It ain't something that's just like, um, just fun and games. It is something that's gonna require, when you stand up against these power, look at Fidel Castro, for instance. He has his principles and he's not willing to compromise, you know? And it cost him, him and Cuba a lot, you know, a lot of embargoes and it made their life hard because they're in the West, which the West is owned by the Europeans predominantly, you know, and, you know, countries like even Venezuela that take, they try to, you know, control their own economy and stuff like that. They get a rebuke from, you know, the, the, the G8 and G13 and, the Whatever imperial the, capitalists. The yeah, imperial the IMF, the, the World Bank, all of them, they make it hard for them. So naturally, if we show that we're trying to do something, I mean, think about this even on small scale grassroots levels. You have MOVE in America, peaceful Black people in Philadelphia living, you know, they had dreadlocks, but they were, you know, about just living, you know, naturally and having their own and doing for themselves. They didn't have weapons. They wasn't fighting nobody. They got killed. And you know, even Mumia Abu Jamal, Jamal is still in prison because of a peaceful revolution, you know, revolutionary movement. Black Panthers, you know, Malachi York, all of the countless others have tried peaceful means of just being self-reliant and black, and they get destroyed. You know what I mean? So um, you would have to be willing to to go through something in order to get what you want is not going to be fashion show and pretty always. Yes, there'll be time for fashion show. Don't get me wrong, but it won't always be pretty. It's going to, it can get real ugly. You know, when it comes to trying to claim your own power that has been stolen from you, they didn't ask for it and we gave it to them. They stole it. Right. So now do you think they really want to give it up when it's their whole civilization is, 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 I mean, Without Africa, Africa is their bread basket. Without Africa, you know, most of the electronics and stuff, they would have to pay a higher, a higher price to get those things because we would be 
doing the refinement ourselves. Whereas now, when when minerals and resources are extracted from African soil, most times it has to be exported to be refined. So they get the crude uh, materials for cheap, export it to some European or Chinese or whatever country, refine it there and sell it for hundreds of times or what they paid for it. For it. I mean, they might more time, they're probably not even paying for it. You know, they got it set to where they're getting it for free and, you know, we probably paying them to take it, you know, so it's like they're not going to give up a system like that. It's too easy for them right now. They're living in luxury off of our expense. So naturally, if we try to make it, you know, to where that's not the case, of course, they're not going to, you know, just sit down and allow that. So, you know, back to my point, sacrifice, we, we as a people would have to be willing to go through some hard times and some struggle and possibly give up our life to, to reach what it is that we want. Oh, okay, give thanks, my Lord. I am bless, back. Blessed and praise. Give thanks. So, you know, yeah, that's, you know, even, you know, the, the fasting is, is something that prepares us to go through them type of times, you know, because we don't control our food right now predominantly you know some of us on a, a small scale might but on a major scale most you know in america specifically most of the black neighborhoods are what they call food deserts you know they only get in packaged food like not even food it's just stuff that they put together that call they call food and put some sugar and salt on it and, and sell it to people and it's you know it's detrimental to our health so we don't have no control over most of what we need to live. Uh, so if we're going against, we're biting the hand that quote unquote feeds us, naturally it's gonna be a struggle. So we'd have to be ready to buckle down and, and do without a lot of the comforts, the luxuries, the dainties of the society that we, you know, in our rhetoric and in our, you know, even in our behavior, we, we chastise and burn out, you know? So we have to, we would have to be hot or cold and not lukewarm. Yes, I um, got two hands raised, Empress Cindy and then um, Prophet Winston, my Lord, or actually Empress and then my Lord. Bless the love, my Lord and Empress. Bless the love, Empress Bless the love, Sister Cindy, Bless dear. Bless her love, Mama Maisie. Um, one of the things I wanted to mention that you had stated about the comment raised by Vladimir Putin in regards to Africans wanted to come abroad to the West and build the West and stuff like that. Um, during my research, um, when I was a college student, there's a term called the brain drain. Oh, yeah. Where, whereas Africans who get trained in Africa, in different universities, you know, they are highly educated and they, they are doing, you know, they are teaching and lecturing in, in the universities and stuff like that. But what they get deterred about is not getting paid, you know, for, for you know, all those years of, of schooling and they get, they get dismayed and, and, and discouraged for, for teaching in places where there's no lights, there's no this, no that, and, and they don't feel that they're getting, you know, the, the recognition and, and, and the necessary, you know, everyday things that we take for granted over here, for example, lights, you know, so they, they end up coming over, over here to the West, you know, getting these high paying jobs, you know, doctors um, and, and so forth. And, and, and they stay here for many years and build this nation. Mm -hmm. And then, and then they go retire and they move back to their country because that's just that's just what they do. But that's yes. a serious that's a serious thing that that that's going on. So many Africans don't want to stay and build up their nations. They don't want to they don't want to stay there. Why? Because well, the, some of the things I just mentioned. Need so to speak. There have to there has to be some kind of incentive to, to cool. for them to want to stay there and, and build and and um and so yeah uh we have some you know so so many intelligent 
African people. You know, um, du uh, during my research, I found out that Ghanaians and Nigerians are, are two of the, um, the most educated Africans, African people coming out of West Africa. They hold tons of PhDs, you know, and they're well educated, but you don't really find them in their countries. They're mostly over here. And, you know, True. unfortunately, it's a sad thing, but this is what's going on. Yes, so that's sir. what I have to say. Give thanks. Give thanks. Yes, I put it simply. Education without justice is slavery. The justice <laughs> is, is reparations, repatriation. Without that, all the education, all the degrees, PhDs we get is going to end up being slavery to their system. That's how they have it set. And, you know, yeah, my Lord. intentionally. Can I say something, Jordania? Yeah, well, there's a hand raised, but I want to finish what I was saying. Um, intentionally, they underdeveloped Africa, so it's not desirable to us. And intentionally, they show us imagery of poor poverty and famine and disease and all of these things in Africa to deter us from wanting to be there. And the people who live there think, you know, they get imagery of America and England being so beautiful and so great and all of this stuff. So they want to leave and go experience that life. And then when they go and experience it, they don't want to go back as the Empress said, and that's all by design. I pray thee, but I also wanted to say this, okay? If there's no jobs being developed over there and there's so many young Africans all over Africa, they're not going to want to stay there either. I'm talking about just the ones who are not educated. If they don't feel that they have you know, any means of supporting themselves. That's why you see them going to all these hurdles and loops, trying to get to all these European and Israel and all these other countries to, to just try to make a living and try to, you know, maintain and, 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 and have some sort of security because there's no jobs being developed in their, in their quote unquote nations, in their countries. I know, that's what I'm saying, Empress. I'm saying that it's intentionally that way. Yeah, yes, Yeah. I, I agree. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, I. Um, Empress, uh, well, Joe Winston, do you mind if Empress Maisie goes ahead of you? I'm not reasoning, I'm just going to back up something that you and Sister Cindy said about the doctors, them the leaving their country. Reason even even in Jamaica, an Arab Empress is a mile. A lot of, 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 of African doctors in, in, in Jamaica right now, you know, and nurses, you know, from Ghana and from Nigeria, you know. A lot of them down there, right? Um, um, working in the field of the doctors and nurse down in Jamaica. Yeah, right. So you know what you're saying, Sister Sinan, because when them finish their, 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 their training as doctor, they can't get any job. So they look for the overseas market, overseas market. Natural. And those who are in Jamaica now, who train for doctors, are looking for overseas market. Right? Mm. In, yes, leaving Jamaica now and coming to America to work as nurse and doctor. So they are not getting um, any amount of salary down there to sustain them, yet still they are taking in other country doctors and paying them good. Correct. Right? So you look at it. You mm -hmm. see? A lot of nurses, a lot of doctors have to leave Jamaica and come over America and, and other countries to get some good salary. Yeah, for sure. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. That's all I want to say here, please. Yes, sir. Give thanks, you know. Just give thanks, said, Mama Maisie. Just said black yeah, people, black people innocent, you know. Yeah, we just we just trying to make the best of a bad situation. We're trying to make lemonade with lemons and our options really ain't that great, but I, I don't fault the African for doing what they're doing. It's just, it's a bad situation. So, you know, but also we had to look at, you know, people when they when they founded America, they went through hard times, you know, it wasn't nice when they came over here. So we also we got to go like we got to take our eyes off of what everybody else set up for themselves and just put, you know, put our nose down and focus on what we need to do so that we don't have to have that our children face that same reality. Prophet Winston, my Lord, you can speak. If thanks again, my Lord. Thanks, Winston. If thanks, Mama. My lad, um, yes, we need the doctors and we need the nurse, we need the teachers and them because it's a balance. It's two type of education. Eh? 
Bobo Shanti education and a tidy physical education where maths and English car. The youth and them have to read and write and them have to study certain things, same with still, because if there is a lack for open, them have to know how to open it, same with still, you know? True, just, true, my lord. Just like the computer, my lord, you know, if we ain't send them to school, they won't even get to know how to operate the computer, same way, and to do yeah. something, you know? And, my lord, another thing again, um, Marcus say we might keep on learning, you know, with spirituality mighty, but if we could come mighty upon the waters, it's great. My lad, a boat to go Jamaica, it costs 45,000 US, my lad. Hey. You know? <laughs> my lad, 45,000 US, send a bubble, and we can't buy a boat, my lad. <laughs> Bobo, we have to do it, Bobo. And if we start to carry goods and them, I have, we have to, my lad, the man said, we have to come mighty for the waters, you know? Babylon done bring them passport, then don't bring them plane, then don't bring them boats so them could limit we. My lad, if we have to build raft, we have to get out of this place, Bobo. You guys, we ain't looking for... True! True! We ain't, yes. look, we, ain't looking, we ain't looking for them in the society for come for free, we ain't no Bobo. As we have to free ourselves. We are enough Bobo sent in the wall, my lad, if we do it, Bobo. And when them see we do it, then go start to join in for it. But them ain't go come and do it, you know, my lad. It's we, Bobo Shanti, have to make that sacrifice, my lad. Bobo, we have to buy a boat. We have to start to go from country to country, carry, carry um, good food stuff, carry. But times they get hard. Them building a wharf, shutting off in the small islands and them, them trying to rule all the beach and them so that we can take with, with fishing boat and go out and catch fish again so easy. You know? We have to go through the system, my lad. These people building us a prison, them building a prison to keep you in. We have to go to them for everything, my lad. So this is the time now we have to start to put, my lad, we could put some papers together, my lad. We could put some papers together, wherever it be. You know, if it's $5 today, $5 next week, it will come $10, Bubba. We have to do something, my lad. We just, we have, to, I just plain for the Bubba them, four wings, forget the differences, forget how you look upon your brother, how you look upon your sister, my lad. Bobo, we have to rise up and check these people and show, look, what too much people stole from Haiti to go other countries, risking them life on high seas because they want to get out. You know, we exactly. Don't really want, we don't really want to get out, you know, because if we really want to get out, my lad, we take a Clorox bottle and cock it and go out, Bobo. <laughs> My life exactly. again, Bobo. My life. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know you're serious, but that was just a, a funny picture, you know. That's what I said to about Bore. Yes, right. Yes, my <laughs> Lord. Um, Prophet Benton, Ja Benton wanted to say a word. Timing, Javi. Let's be bubbly. My Lord. I mean, give thanks, you know, for all said and done so far, but it's on the topic of the same sacrifice and talking on the brain, the brain drain. Like I mentioned earlier, we have to be cognizant of causality, cause and effect. And if we look at the cause and effect for Africa's continued destabilization, it's the ideologies these governments hold. When you look at the success of the Cuban resistance, the, the economic terrorism of the West, it's because of the ideology of the people, the ideology of the government, which is institutionalized through their education, where a doctor ain't more important because they're training than the man who stick up the trash. Yeah, and like I say, causality, of course, we live in a global world now. Globalization is more in effect, more than ever through, through technology. So humans always want more and they always want what them see others are. But the ideological basis behind these things is how they go about them, you know. So when we look at the governments in the land, that's why I say we ain't studying African politics. What we talking about Africa to go do? What change we going to make in Africa if we ain't prepared to introduce change? And not just talking righteousness or salvation, because righteousness, according to the Muslim, is in his perspective, the Christian, the whoever. So what are we talking tangible in changing 
our African situation. We have to get real people. We have to get real. Like, we just can't gloss over this thing. Like, like this thing is intricate. And our approach to it, I feel we as a house suffer from just speaking rhetorically. We, 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 we approach things from, from, from angles that, that don't have nothing to do with it and then expect to get the solution we're looking for. So once again, if we take our off and go Africa and we go into Nigeria right now, what are we prepared to do to make Nigeria a better Nigeria besides our spirituality? What are we tangibly able to do or prepared to do to make the change on the ground to stop the brain drain? So we ain't understanding and prepared to get involved in the politics on the ground in Africa. We ain't prepared to make real changes. My Lord. That's why I implore everyone, we have to, we have to educate ourselves on these things. We have to be prepared to make the changes. Not just talk about them, but to make them. So we can't just, we can't just look at, say, well, we have to get out the West because nobody running in droves or the bombers going nowhere. We got no economic situation. And I gonna tell them, go Africa. No no development there for you, no job there for you. So I mean if you ain't coming with money, what situation you find yourself in? If you ain't coming with the investment and the development, what situation you finding yourself in? So we have to be real with the same we, 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 we can't we can't we can't we can't we can't just wait on reparation. So if we know it's it, 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 it within us now to foster a spirit of change, let's foster a tangible spirit of change, me, not me, just me, a rhetorical me, one. Job Benton. Me not understand. Can you hear me, Black, uh, Daniel? I can hear you. Okay, um, can you, you keep saying politics, but you know Bobo Shanti, that word sound. Then I, I don't care, but see my Lord, personally, no, right? Politics, hold on, hold on. politics. Hear me, hear me out, hold on, hold on, hold on. hear me out. We don't talk over each other on this program. Um, just explain what you mean so that people can understand clearly what you mean by politics. Thank you, sir. By politics? Yes. The modus operandi of society. Right. Politics includes certain of the economy, the laws, the policies, the institution, all that is politics. We have to drop our fear of semantics. These are English words, European words. They ain't got no power over here now. Well, you're talking about fear. I'm just asking you to explain because I know when you say certain words, it's not, it's not going to sound... I mean, people might not understand. Pardon me if I sound rock, right? But to me, the word politics is simple. It's politics, not... Not, 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 not our interpretation or meaning we bestow upon it, but the science of politics, my lord, the science of governance, the science of keeping a society and a civilization together, politics. My lord, pardon me, my lord, I just want to ask one question, my lord. As a bill, I'm not going into Africa. I could go in with my own long empty hand and a hand of money. You know, from I reach in, I start to work. I look for a job. I a bill at a home and I think building in them places. I, I pay my rent and I start to work from there, set up a workshop and start to work from there, you know. So you don't really have to have money because the priest, them sure I say, you over from me have a skills are educated. You can go home and find yourself. Look how much people working all in them bigger countries, my lad, the overs and developing them country because they're paying tax in the country when they so why they do I go in Africa go work, my lad. Yeah, yeah, you finished job enter. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, that question was yes, fine. Yeah. The question well, was to me. To me do. Yeah. I mean, I understand. All right. Obviously, if one are fleeing, right, before economic opportunity, right? That means for you to go and look for, if you ain't going with economic incentive, there obviously is a lack of economic opportunity there. Don't so, only, 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 only
Javentan, hold your thought one second. Let me just interject one little thing to, to make it a little clearer. You see what Javentan is talking about right now, maybe we don't fully get it, but it is a principle of repatriation. You know? When you're studying repatriation from a, a, a political, a, a geopolitical level, that is a principle of it. You know, you have to, it, it is a methodology. Repatriation, like how we, we, we romanticize it, but there is a protocol or there is protocols to it. Uh, yes. Now, continue, um, Jabenta. Sorry to interrupt, but I, I want that in a one's and one's mind, knowing that there is a, there's methods to repatriation and what Jabenta is talking about right now is in the document, you understand, of repatriation as a principle. You understand? You can't just send home people. Go ahead. Hey. Explain it so the Empress can, can get it. You know, um, and, and everyone can get it because it needs to be a little clearer. You need to hear it because different drama. This me I hear Jar Jar Doggy down where my father teach me. So we need some more clearance too. Because my mind twist up here now and make it and everything twist up for me. All right. So clear it up to, to make me. it plain and simple. If we ain't prepared to go and immerse ourselves in all the affairs in the society in Africa we find ourselves in, what are we going to do? So that means from the education system, the political system, the healthcare system, the social care system, we have to be prepared to be able to go in and enhance. Are we preparing ourselves to develop any of these institutions to be able to go in and enhance them? For instance, the Black Cross nurses. Thank you. So we can't say we won't go in and be lost. And let's look at African healthcare system, right? Let's look at why is there a lack of hospitals, not just because a lack of um, doctors, because obviously if they have doctors that are fleeing, we got three and doctors, but it come down to resources, it come down to the politics, how, how resources are allocated, where emphasis is put. How do we eradicate a system of corruption in government? These are the challenges that face us in Africa. We can't romanticize Africa, we gotta look at it for what it is. So how, how these are the, are, are the things we face with when we say Africa. These are the challenges we face with. How we, are we preparing ourselves when we say repatriation to go and meet these challenges? Yeah, the father tell us how we go and go build Africa in a bubble. Well, tell us that in a yeah, but we, we can't build without skill. Yeah. Without what? Without skill. Yeah. Skill. That's, skill, that's what he said. It's skill, human man. capacity. And we de develop skills, yeah, education, and training. Yeah, so if we can talk about so we got we got to look at look at it holistically. Is what needs to be done? What's the reality is on the ground? So all right, there's levels to all right. Brother Joseph has his hand up. I would just like to say there's levels to all of that what you just said because all right. Every science that you mentioned, politics and health, all of that stuff on a small scale, Bobo Hill was what did all of that. It was a government in itself. I'm talking about changing the whole continent's governments, us, Bobo Shanti. We could have a hand in it, but I don't think, I mean, we have to be all educated in all of those fields in, in order to repatriate and have a good life in Africa. Um, because you know, like if we was moving together and we bought some land and we was able to live, you know, somewhat self-reliant there without depending on looking for jobs and stuff like that, then, you know, on a small scale, that's success. It might not be like, you know, the end all be all, but over time we could work towards that. Like I don't, I personally don't see us in the diaspora having access to enough opportunities to get the education and the skill sets necessary to say we're going to move ready to go and do all of that. I mean, a few of us, yeah, are on them type of levels, 
Um, and usually those are the ones in organizations like CARICOM and, you know, stuff like that. But grassroots organizations that's made up of poor and have nots, I just don't see where that capacity is really going to come from. Where, where they, where they, where they come from, where they're going to get all of that training and that knowledge they have to do that. They have not, they're not able to go. Yeah, but here's the thing now. You see that, that, that statement now? It doesn't. It, it, what, what it does, it makes mute this conversation because we are talking about nation building. So what you have just said is that we're just not capable of nation building. No, that's not what I said at all. I said on a small scale, we it, it's already been done, you know, and it can grow into a larger scale thing. What I'm saying is that I don't think we need to be ready to go like, before we repatriate, we have to have them qualifications, those requirements in order to go home. I don't see it like that. I think, yeah, we need to be worried. That's the goal, the long-term goal. But I don't think we got to be like, if I don't have these skills, then I can't, I don't, I shouldn't even go home. On a migration oh level, God. you're right. On a migration level, you're right. But if yes, you're talking about- migration. If you're talking about repatriation, it's different because well, you're talking about moving, hold on, you're talking about moving a mass amount of people from one geographical location to another without preparation, without infrastructure, without all that Jabenta and the stock of. While we have those people among us, we have every facet of our development among us. We are, what we have is that is the lack of unity. We, right now I can identify Rasta engineer, I can, in, I can identify Rasta politician, that is a good politician. You understand when you say politician, a man who know about governance then. See, as a Rasta man, because I'm studying them yeah. thing there. I I'm, I'm study mm -hmm. political science in a university as a Rasta man. See, so I mm -hmm. know how to apply law to him liberty. See, right. now we can find all of those capabilities amongst I and I. Why it seems so dismal to us is the lack of collaboration the lack of unity. No, the Congress is a Congress, you know, your eight name is a Congress, my brethren and sisters. It's a Congress, it's not just a church, it's a Congress. What skill sets we don't have? That I used to have a reasoning. I used, used to send out a pamphlet and invite anyone. It, the pamphlet say, whether you're a co-med, whether you're a police, you're a soldier, you're whatever. You're free for compound Wednesday. You're free for compound Wednesday. Come reason if you are interested in repatriation. Right on your name. Okay. He never, he never, and he wasn't telling them, so they have to come now and turban themselves and they have to this and they have to that. We, nation building, we have to think bigger than we have ever been, man. Like His Majesty said, we have to stop thinking in the box. We have to think, brother, the skill sets that we don't have personally amongst us, we have it in, in, amongst our nation. We have it amongst the Pan African family. You understand? That's why we brought, when we brought Umar Johnson to the hill and he spent a couple of days and he assessed the camp. He assessed how we administrate and he gave a talk to the camp, you know, mm -hmm. because the camp asked him for it about what he think that the camp needs to do to be pertinent in the year and now. And he gave practical answers and he saw the capability. Him and I talk about it. He saw the potential and capability of the Congress. Yes. It is the Congress that's denying that's its own capability. Alone. And Herbert, um, look. William saw it to another dignitary ones come yes, up their side, but we don't see them see it. Well, we yes. don't see them see it. This judgment. Remember Utah, you remember you remember Ambassador Utah from, from the United Nations? Where him say when him come a The man make it as, as one of him public declaration in a Jamaica, you know. After him come visit that, you know, what he saw, the structure where him saw, what him here expressed to him by the priest, them that was round that at the time who expressed that as sentiment, seeing was some practical human rights measures of nation building development. Aye, we can do it, Bridging. We have to be like liquor train. We can, we can. That's what Marcus asked, we know. If we cannot do what other nations have done, other people have done, we shall die. You understand? We can't be, 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 um, be discouraged and we can't have lack of confidence in ourselves. 
when I look at the Congress the other day, when I looked at Philadelphia, before all of the foolishness started, because I don't know, all of a sudden the self-hate and, 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 and defeatist attitude of I and I. When I looked at uh -huh. Philadelphia, I saw, I saw there was a, a, a priest, Desmond, oh, I, I'll give, I'll make I remember his name, priest Desmond, who was a doctor. Uh, uh, yes. uh, the man was at uh, the man is up uh, the, the man foundation in two in yes, the man, the man was a skilled strong yes. double, a in the the man was, and because yes. of that we beat him down because of what darkness we beat him down and this and, and mm -hmm. disillusion the man see I yes. make all kinds of things when the man came with a free heart to come straighten the building of the, the government the building of the empire see we have all of these skill sets amongst us all kinds of stuff See, if they are them, I told you them don't know all the bubble them that exist. But Bridget, we have, have nurses, we China. have doctors, we have teachers, we have lawyers. Up to one day, Mr. One picture from Kenya, Economist. one bubble, one bubble, Bridget, a big liar now. Me see. Me see, you have all economists, me know all economists, bubble. You have all kind of bubble amongst I and I. It's just because we are humble people and man who walk around and broadcast we them. Are them not coming to, we are we are not in we have it. So we need to just, what we need to do to bring back the, the, uh, the reasoning full circle now, what we need, seeing, which is what everybody has said, the problem, the underlying problem and the only problem we have as a people is for forging unity, putting away the petty differences, you understand, and sit down to develop a program is not rocket science. You understand? It's not. Marcus Garvey was self-taught and him developed a magnificent program because you know what, 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 is, what, what makes a leader great? Knowing his skill and his weakness. And you see where he's weak, he find people that are strong in those departments and engage them, you know, and solicit their strength in what he's doing. See? So we as a Congress, we can do the same. Dada did it by Not example. Say something to Daniel, please. He did it by example when he got right. that secretary at the University of the West Indies, who was not a bubble keeping 21 days, but she still worked on behalf of Bubba. Dada went out and got something that he needed at the time to make his operation better, even though it was not per se a bubble. Give thanks. Yes, Father, give thanks. Um, Job Benton and Priest Dougie. The context of what what I was speaking to, the brethren said if he have to make a raft to get himself out of the West, then he would. Ja Benson said, what are you going to take the raft and go do? So that was what I was replying to. I wasn't saying we don't have the capacity or we won't be able to or any of that that I feel was implied or inferred from what I said. What you said, Ja Dougie, is definitely true, and I don't dispute it, but I hope you understand where I was coming from also. So you don't think I was in... Um, yes, my lad. Yes, my lad. Right. No, 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 no. You know? Yes, my lad. That's not a confusion, you know? All right. Give thanks, my lad. All, all of what was just said by everyone needed to be said because it's, it sums up the whole total of everything. It sums up the total of where our meditation is as a, as a, as a Congress. Because one thing I like with Empress Maisie, she's quick to tell you that she don't get it. And... She never did see it so from them time there. And there is nothing wrong with that. You know, what I would love us to have is an open mind to know that even though I didn't hear it back then or I didn't see it back then, let me open my mind and listen to what the bridge mm -hmm. is saying. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. It's my bridge. I get my the family, understanding. And it's my family. And him, him is not coming to do nothing wrong. Whoever is on this site right now, mm -hmm. we are here to try and discuss together to find a good way of moving forward as a people mm -hmm. and hurry up and left out of the West. Yeah, in yes, a sure. mm -hmm. So give them. Yes, mm -hmm. uh, we had a few. Well, we had Brother Joseph had his hand up for a while. Empress Maisie, you could speak after Brother Joseph yeah. and then Ja Winston. I, I just, I just want to say this, Ja Daniel. I'm not reasoning. I'm just saying that I give thanks to the understanding because. Under migration scheme, scheme bubble, you'd have to go down there with talents, you know. It is not repatriation, right? And if you even get a boat and you're full of people, it's still a migration, right? Because it's not repatriation. You know, yes, see, Petra, Piri, repatriation, as Jack Dougley said, is different. When the massive of people, the poor and the have not, the rich and the poor, everybody is going to go. 
right? Mm -hmm. But under migration scheme, you'd have to have a skill like going to Africa. You have to know what you're doing. You can go on with an empty pocket. You'd have to have money to start a business because you're going to build. You know, you're going to build something. You have to have, you know, something. So you'd have to go down there with money, you know, yes, to sir. build and all of that. So I give thanks, my Lord. Yes, sir. I give thanks and praise. Prophet Joseph, my Lord, you can unmute yourself and speak. And we're, you know, we're kind of coming, the time is moving. So I would ask that everyone who speaks from here on kind of, you know, don't, don't talk too long. Please. My Lord. My Lord. Yes, the last, um, I don't say as, a, a short sense in here, my Lord. Just I give thanks for the, for the reason in my Lord. It's been really a lot. A lot of information and a lot of of this good perspective, my lad, that I always get from the study group. So give thanks. Um, me was me was gonna get it from the point where Jadan Honorable said that the father already did the work. I mean, in a in a in a in a small level, the Congress was built and there were projects per se, institutions within the Congress to make the nation grow and to make the nation build itself. So you have the Broomfield, the industry institution aspect Flanders. of it. You have, you have, the, you have the sandals. You have this, 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 shop, this, so industrial, this whole industrial institutions. You have the government, which is another institution within the Congress itself. You have different projects gathered together for the building of a nation, which is which is what I get or what I understand from what a Congress is, right? A Congress is a, a, an amount of projects gathered together for the, 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 the one destiny we all share. Now, from the reasoning that was just given, I wanted to say that I see within this process of nation building, with, within this process of nation building, I see, I mean, repatri what, it's like I, I'm asking, trying to ask myself if what's first, nation building, or it's like I'm, I'm seeing like we are trying to ask ourselves the same thing, if nation building is first or repatriation is first, hmm. right? So nation building first, we have to, I mean, our nation has to be built Within, within its foundations and for that to be completed and for that mission to be completed, it is necessary for, as Jadaniel was saying, certain people with some skills go and build and build the work as our father already started doing it when, when he sent the Africa missions. Because we are a school and the way the father teaches and the way we want to teach the world the way of going back to our continent to build our continent is through example. I see if I and I as, as a Congress can give that example to the black people of the world of moving ourselves and our the institutions and the projects that we have within our nation to us and to a level where we see ourselves fulfilling those visions within the continent, the process of building a nation and the message of nation building will be sent to ourselves and to our black people for black people in general see this fulfillment. And in such process, I see it is necessary that we can count with the people who have the skills and as priest doggy was saying even if and not because we don't have the capacity in ourselves because as, as he was mentioning we have different kind of bubbles that are built in different kind of projects and in different kind of yeah professions but we need to we need to always have our mind open and broaden our views so that we can count with any 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 black man and woman that's willing to develop such and 
yeah, not not to see only because both people, because it's the African nation that we are trying to build. So I wanted to also ask what is what is the projects that the IDMC are under the capacity of INI Congress to start developing. I myself see the education project. And if the item could also share the visions that you heard from us, as you just said, being like Umar Johnson, what are the projects that we see we can fulfill with the capacity we have right now? Yeah, thanks, my lord. I'll leave the floor for the ones who, you know, can answer that question. What, what projects do we have the capacity to uh, you know, implement right now as we, you know, with, with the people that we have? I uh, highly Celestia is the one, and the only thing we can carry us forward is farming. My lad, farming can carry us forward, you know? Um, we set up organization where we can ship, ship certain things, you know, yes, a man making broom in Bobo Hill, Cocking Emmanuel said the order, but a man only making 20 broom to go outside and, and sell them and come forward just for get something for eat, you know. But if a man come make 10,000 broom rasta, then we can go forward to see it, you know. Car, you know, we, we, we're farming, but yeah, we ain't farming enough. We ain't farming enough, so we can get the funds that we want. We farm, we only just farming just to buy fertilizer, my lad. Look at where, look at where ones and ones doing who is not Bobo Shanti, outside Bobo Shanti. Yes, the Sabbath must be respect, so we still ain't study them, you know? But look at what them doing outside, my lad, you know, even ones and ones who planting herb, you know, even ones and ones who claim and say them planting herb and them they on the field and them have license for herb and them is Bobo. And herb right now make a lot of money. Them can come together, my lad, and do something and even put, get a delegation, a delegation, my lad, you know? We're reaching there. You don't know well once and once going to start to do certain things, my lad. We go to the government because my lad, you where the world setting right now, you have to be able to go to the government and the country. You don't go around and hide, my lad, because we are bubble. So we have to go facing the schools, we have to go facing the nurses, the doctors, the teachers, we are facing the children and them in any country that we go in because we're showing them our Congress. Our Congress, when you talk as a priest, when you talk about a Congress, you know, you're talking about everything, you know. Everything we have, you know, universal, you know, from Zion to what, you know, every part of skills, mechanic, everything we can do as a Congress, and we're supposed to put it into practice for the nation, my lad, for the youth and them, the youth and them coming out of school, them going in school, and when them come out, you know what they're saying? Rastafari and nothing set for we, so we have to go in Babylon. The others, you know, we have yeah. to start, we have to start to put things, my lad, and go hold it up longer, call it. Bubba don't say so, my lad. Give thanks again oh. for the reasoning. Give thanks again for everything, same way, don't know. Close your mark for the night, same way. More love and more strength and more protection. Bless the hour, same way. My lad and Empress, see you later. Give thanks, yeah. Prophet Winston. Yes, I am. Love that talk. Love that talk. Yeah, that, this um, Empress Akosua, who was on when we did the repatriation video, um, she's watching on YouTube right now, and she was saying, yeah, you need to come with money if you come in, you know, as like a one or a family. But she says she knows a couple that came there with just seeds, you know, they didn't have much money and nothing like that. And now they have lots of acres, you know, so farming is definitely something. There's no culture without agriculture, you know, and farming is definitely the staple of the people. I mean, we have to eat, you know, so give thanks for the word sound, my Lord. Farming, education, um, we... Generally, a lot of us know a lot about health and herbs and things like that. You know, not all, but a lot of us do have some knowledge of those things. And, you know, all, all Black people all over the world are being fed less than food that's creating all kinds of health problems and even, you know, this, uh, so much starch and stuff like that. We know about these things. We can help with health care on a, on a um, we have higher level healthcare people, but we also have like, you know, everyday people who know about herbs and who know how to eat properly. So we can influence in that way. We can help with that in, 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 in African countries. 
if we can get our ear or get get our voice heard by the right people and we can implement come up with programs we could do stuff like that um and there's something that's right up our alley that, that that that's just simple and it's 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 um being recognized now globally you know what they call the creative industry mm -hmm. i don't know if them understand what that entails because um i didn't so i'm not trying to act like i know uh, some you know something everyone did but i myself just learning how that concept is being coined now in this modern world how they're using it you know that there are, there there is even a list of creative cities okay about must about three or four african countries are on that list see uh, so what i'm getting to is that we are craft people throughout rastafari we make a lot of craft you know part of the problem why it it remains a hustle is because we're not thinking big enough to organize it into an industry mm -hmm. now to do that we have to do a thing what them call branding see we have to create a brand and let that brand become a recognized brand a marketable brand, a strong brand, so you can now hit the markets of the world, the global marketplace. See, now, Rastafari don't have to do much to do that because Rastafari's brand is one of the most marketable brands globally. And that they, they don't, they don't listen to it. You can, you can talk to any, any marketing specialist, you know. Rastafari, it's a red, gold, and green. I and I symbols. I and I hold Rastafari um, relics. You know, they are the strongest relics. brand anywhere. When people see something relics. on them shelf and it say, um, "Made in Jamaica," "Made in Bahamas," by Rastafari or handcrafted by Rastafari, they, they want it. it. Them want it. So it's not a not a hard do for I and I to to create that industry, you know. People like Priest Edley, back in the day, I could Priest Edley create all kind of little small craft, all kind of little cute little things that they would Out go on. Coconut still doing it. <laughs> so you know, and and I have bridging that make shoes out of knit, knitting, hand knitting, shoes, you know, make Tams, shoes out of knitting. Kind of red, gold, and green, a different thing in it. We, we, yes. we can make all kinds of things. Ras Iva is a crown specialist. My bridge and Charlie make vests and skirts and dresses out of, out yeah, of my, knitting. My daughter you know, make all kind of slippers. And I mean, fashionable kind, you know, we, we're not talking about, you know, like old man who just, I'm talking about. No, Fashionable ones that ones out there wear all artists and them people they buy them thing they and wear because it's fashionable. So I and I can organize our creativeness into an industry, same way, something simple like that. That don't take no big education or big nothing. You know, whatever you can do, you're a drum maker, you can make drums good, neat, skillful. We have a, we have a bridge named Priest Bonnick in Ghana. To I, mm -hmm. the best button maker I know. Yes. When you talk about new... Jarichi, we have a Virginia, Jarichi in St. Lucia, they now. Yeah, I know, Prince Richard. I said, new. I have Virginia that make... We may have Virginia that make all kinds of stuff within Belt. that creative net. So we have all kinds of things that we can do as part of our construct of nation. You know, it's not everything we can do and it's not everything we should try to do because that is where we're going to feel but let us attack an area where we are strong as a house where Bobo Ashanti is strong as a house see build an, an, an economic industry out of it that can can sustain us and others you understand and work from there these are doable approaches you know tangible approaches as, as Jabenton said and I would love to hear from yes. Jabenton on his closing remarks too. Um, because I know you never did finish your meditation. And even though sometimes it seems a little bit high, yeah, you know, sometimes you have to pull me up, see. you know. So I don't mind reaching up to reach, you know. And I would love all my brothers and sisters have that meditation. Make we open my mind to learn. Make we reach up and become something we never. Make we see something bigger and broader than we did before.
Yeah, gift up. Right. Yes, my Lord. Yeah, Daniel, can I? Well, Empress Cindy, you had your hand up and now okay. it's down. Did you want to say something? I just wanted to say that what John Winston was saying about food security, I think that's um, one of the most vital things to build a nation because that's how, you know, Kemet was built by the Nile and by farming and stuff like that. So we're going to, if we're thinking about building a nation, that's one of the most important things aside from economics and and all these other things that we need to have skills and so forth. We need to know how to feed and sustain ourselves and our children and our family. So give thanks. Yes, I am. Yeah, my Lord. And I would, I would even, you know, advocate that we don't do agriculture, you know, but more I think of like permaculture and things that's more sustainable. Agriculture strips land, you know, planting the same crop for acres and acres and acres is not good. It's not natural. But there's other ways, you know, sustainable ways, sustainable energy and sustainable farming techniques, sustainable building techniques. If we're going to build a new world, let's do it, you know, not mimicking what's already being done that we see doesn't really work. But, you know, be creative and, and do it in a way that's even better than what they said. Oh, ag agriculture is not good oh. for Earth. Oh, sure. Yeah. I agree and with I mean, that. Not to say that, you know, to like disregard what someone said, but the point is, yes, we need to have food security, but when we do it, we need to be thinking, you know, when we do it. Eco-friendly. Eco-friendly. Eco yes, I. Yes, Honorable. Empress Maisie, you can go through. Yes. As I was saying, give thanks again, my Lord. No, for all what's said and done, but I'm going to just continue on a little bit on the, you know, industrial. I take, for instance, my family, okay? What we could do. Um, I can knit tam, hundreds of tam, I could. We said the craftsman, he can sew, look at that. You know, Jad Daniel, independent the craft, same way. My daughter Judy can make all kind of pattern, auto crochet slippers right now. We are industrial by ourselves, you know? And if we extend everybody, you know, extend it to, you know, in one with everybody who can do, who can do belt, or who can do make man slippers and who can do this and who could. We'd have a big industry for the Congress as we're working, as we're working one accord and not individual. You see, if we work working in, in individually, then we are not seeing it. But if we work as a, a body, you know, a craft people come together and work, naturally we will see it. You see how we are working together and our Congress would be more uplift. Because when I put on my label and that man put on him label, I said the EABIC eh? and our banner, the red, gold and green eh? or the red, black and green man. There's no color in the world as beautiful as red, gold, and green, you know? Not true. That is so a light. Anyway, you're there. And you see a red, gold, and green purse about something, a red, gold. You pick them up one time. No matter, you pick them up. You know, see? So if we they just come together, got your button, button, shop. When I come to yard, it was slanders and button and mat, right? That they come in with them craft work, you see, and then sewing robes and turbans and kaba, all beautiful, you know. Yeah, that I was talking about it, but we didn't manifest what our father tell us, and so in selfishness of us, we go our separate ways and do our our individual thing, right? But if we did listen and come together, it's enough time precisely to in in, in, in craft and say, let us work in unity. And try it and it never manifests. You know, see it. Would I be a bigger people right now? Big industry Bubba, Bubba would have all over the world. Would I be sending things all over? And our financial status would be strong. Yeah, I would be depending on no one to send us a little one center, two center, whatever, everybody working together and living in one accord. You know, see, but it, it didn't work that way, my Lord. 
you see. And that's why our children now, when they go to university, you see that the Congress, the government, make a way for them that they could come back in the government and work. There is nothing set for them, exactly. right? So they have to go out there and look for a livelihood, then they should be returning back to the government, strengthening it, build it, right? Nation would have, nation building again, right? Mm -hmm. But there is oh. nothing set, right? Oh. They have to go out there now to achieve. Some of them go through student loan, they have to pay it back, right? They can't come back in the government and sit down and there is nothing for them to achieve. So that's why Babylon always I get the younger generation them strength. And this is what is, this is very important. And we must look into look to it and set away in the EABIC government, because we are a government. But we always say that, but we are not fulfilling the work as a government to set away for the younger generation them and the elders them. Yes, that well. make up the Congress. Most eyes last year. Yes, yeah. 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 And before I go, give thanks, you know, for the Holy Week. You know, our Father, crucify, rose on the Friday, you know, to keep his Sabbath. Yeah, give thanks, our God and King, for all that he has been through, you know, and I and I must just set to self, you know, to just live to our right. Lift to the man Laza commandment and uplift ourselves, spirituality. Yeah, and let us work together. This is my argument. I will never stop saying it. If we don't work together in one accord, as my father said, then we will never reach reach home. Most eyes last day. Yeah, that's the, that's the family. Yeah. family. Give thanks. Give thanks, Empress. All right, so we're moving, you know, closing remarks now. Um, keep it within, you know, maybe like two minutes because there's quite a few of us on. If everyone wants to say a word, then, you know, we have to keep it to the point. Please and thanks, my Lord and Empress. Honorable Prophet Joseph, you can go through, Honorable. My Lord, just give thanks, my Lord. I just want to add a little word that I see is an advantage that the Congress has at this moment being an international community, an international Congress. Production cost is not the same for every product in every country. So you could get, like here in Colombia, Colombia is like, Colombia produces a lot of clothes. You can get a shirt in Colombia that, I mean, for a couple dollars, $2 or $1. And you can sell it in the US, in an international shop, whatever, in the world. And all the profit from that can go to the Congress. If we do it wisely, if we move, as Mama is saying, in one accord. My Lord and Empress. Yes, if time for the resurrection, same way, my Lord, coming Friday, heart of love. The, give thanks, Prophet Joseph, my Lord. Um, Empress Cindy, you had your hand up for a moment there. Are you, did you, you're not sure? <laughs> you want to say something? Or? Well, I wanted to say it's important that I and I leave a legacy for our youth now. Give thanks. Give thanks, Empress. Last nice. closing remarks, closing remarks. What did you get from today's reasoning? What do you seal it with? Everyone, come forward. Your, your voice is needed to be heard. Please speak. Don't keep it in. You don't have a candle and put it under a barrel, you know? Yeah, Benton's still there, huh? Go to yeah, my Lord. All right, yeah, man. Yeah, man. Jaron, go through. Hold on, my Lord. Jaron had his hand up, and then you can go forward next. Bless the love, bless the love. Um, during this whole thing, big up Jardim, because during this whole topic, I just made that song I was I was telling you about. And I wanted everybody to have their closing remarks and I just wanted to share the song. I know it's your platform. I just wanted to ask if I could share the song with Go through my Lord. 
Yeah, yeah, give thanks. We would love to hear it. Go through. All right, give me a second. You just need to beat real quick. Oh, you got a beat and everything? And then, the man is creative, man. Yeah. <laughs> Do job works, you know? There's so an instrument shall be there. All my strings are in the... Uh... Hey, yeah, thanks for the Black Christ, you know? We put these things in our forefront of our thoughts. Let our, you know, minds be free so our bodies can follow. That's yeah. My Lord. Let me know if y'all can hear the beat. Okay. All right. Not hearing it right now. Okay. <laughs> Might have to ask you to do it a cappella because the timing still. Unless you want. As long as you hear in the beat, but you, let us hear you. Blessed love, all we need is unity to strengthen up, strengthen up our community. Take advantage of the opportunities. Babylon, Babylon trying to rule and we. Yes, I'm talking about you and me. Dad, at the hands of the police, at funerals, we giving eulogies. Rastafari, same for love and peace, you know. Let me get the chalice real quick. Billy Lynch, Jim Crow. Oh, man. Let me give you a definition of unity, though. Here we go. Uh, coming together as one. It could be done. Tenacity got to hold strong. Got to move on. No right from wrong. Like one plus one equal two. Then move on. Got to stay true to who? Like mine. But when the wind blows, I hope you stay warm. The sick, nervous, naked cloak. That was time I'm on. The sick, nervous, naked cloak. That was time I'm on. The humble fed. If it's cared for it. Protected. Every day is like every day we live it. it mm, kind of messed up. Kind of messed up. No, well, it's good. Give thanks. It's a positive message, my Lord. Give thanks yeah, for sharing. Yeah, yeah. Bless it. Bless it. Bless it, my Lord. I give it to y'all on side class soon, though. I just right. made two weeks ago. Give thanks. Yeah, we'll give thanks for the courage to share, you know? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The beer on the so clean, you know? Yeah, give thanks for the inspiration. Coming yeah, yeah. from the God inside the eye, inside the eye and I, you know. Um, yeah, the floor is open. Jabinton. Yeah, oh yeah, that's right, Jabinton. Bless the Lord, my Lord. Bless the Lord. Yeah, in closing, like I say, give thanks to everybody, you know, coming up with these ideas. And it just remind me how much. What we're talking about basically was the Negro Patriots Cooperation, what Mark has set up. It's basically bringing a clearing house for all our goods and services together. Be able to have that collective security economically. Hey, Priest Doug, you always say we ain't got to reinvent the wheel. Sometimes we have to go study the engineering of the wheel more in tune and precisely. And I feel that we, Boba Shanti in particular, we to really study Garvey, study the movement, study the context for the time, and look at where we are now. We will have better successes building on that legacy than just regurgitating the legacy. But I just encourage everybody, study, study hard. There's a study group, let us all study. Bible says study to show ourselves approved. So let's do some real studying, you know. Let, let, let's do the study and necessary to find solutions for our problems, you know, because there's no problems, only solutions. My Lord and Uncle. Give thanks, my Lord.
Anyone else? All right. Well, I will say my two, you know, um, closing remarks. I give thanks for everyone's um, participation. Everyone, you know, adding some seasoning to the pot, you know, to, to give it a good flavor, a good rounded flavor. And, um, you know, making it more digestible for ones and ones who take, like, you know, when you have all of these different perspectives, it makes it where it's more relatable to more different type of people because everybody don't think the same way. And, you know, messages don't resonate with people the same way. They have to hear it in a certain way for it to make sense to them, for them to internalize it. So it's very important, you know, for everyone sharing and stuff, it, it, you know, not just because someone else shares, you should feel that you have to, but it does make it a better reasoning. So I give thanks because it was a lot of input today. That's why I say that. A lot of ones came forward and brought forth information and their 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 opinions and stuff, and it was a good reason. Um, as far as the topic, you know, resurrecting Black nation, African nation, it's our no. I mean, it's our only development until it happens. You know, there's nothing else more important. Um, you know, and, and we have to really put it in the front of our minds and not have it as a second thought or a side note and let it be, you know, guiding everything that we do. If we have children, that's what we should be raising them to, to do. And I don't mean pressuring them to be what we want them to be or what we think they should be, but by educating them of what our situation is and helping them to see themselves as a part of the solution and as being themselves and doing what they love to do and developing their talents so that they can be, you know, um, the next generation to take it further, you know, we, 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 we picked up the torch from the generation before us, every one of every generation thus far has done that. And it's our duty to carry it further and to teach our children to carry it even further. So um, plenty of work to do regarding resurrecting ourselves, but we have the, you know, we have something to study. We have examples because our Trinity, you know, but there's also one, those, those, that generation of, of African leaders, the Nkrumahs, the Nyerere, the Sankara, those type of people, even Mugabe, Idi Amin Dada. We have all of these ones to study what they did, what was their successes, what was their failures, you know, and to hold on to the successes and try to re-implement some of them if we can but also to learn from the failures and say, what was it about their approach that didn't work? Because they probably had a good intention, but something they did, you know, it didn't work. So let's tweak it and make it work. So we don't have to, you know, as has been said a few times, we don't have to reinvent wheels here. There is something to work with. We have plenty of examples. It's up to us to study, show ourselves approved, pass it on to the coming generation until the, the mission is accomplished. Yeah, so yeah, give thanks again for everyone's participation, everyone's um, contribution. Again, give thanks for all those watching on YouTube and, you know, give thanks for the reasoning. And at this time, uh, you know, Priest Dougie, if you have closing words, you can say your closing remarks and then go right into the prayer and seal of the program, my Lord. Yes, man, I just short and spicy, you know. Give thanks for everyone's input, as I said, it was very, you know, um, interactive you know different perspectives always make a good reasoning you know um the good thing is that we are open-minded and we are sharing one you know thoughts of you know this the topic with each other i would suggest that you know in choose a study group if ones you know are able to or ones might already have you know might need to revisit a book like you know the the how Europe underdeveloped Africa by Walter Rodney and the destruction of black of the black civilization by Chancellor Williams. Those two books are two very informative books. They give us a, a, a clear insight into you know the task that we have ahead. 
the challenges that exist that we are yet to conquer because they are the same challenges that our four fear our four parents faced that we are facing right now you know poverty racism you know they had them know the list so um those two books will be very helpful along with the two that you know Jabenton spoke of earlier one I pray to- can I add to that to that list of books go ahead empress the blueprint for black power by Amos and Wilson yeah mm-hmm. not, a, not a great book not a great book yes another great book so we have we have we have, we have a lot of ones like they yeah, I just say you no know, Jordanel to to study and emulate you know study them don't just look um because you might know something negative about a certain you know um high profile you know one in a nice struggle because some ones tend to look at a one like Martin Luther King as being soft or whatever it is that 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 maybe the negative that ones embrace and don't hold him strongly when there is another side to him that you know, if one's just have an open mind and look at the whole fullness and not be bogged down by, you know, the Western view of things, you know. So I give thanks. I give thanks to the study group. You know, it's as everyone have said, it is very important because before this, yeah, we reason, but we did not pack the subject in a certain practical way that others who are listening could learn. And that it exists in, 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 in the virtual world for the next coming generation to have as a tool. So with that said, yes, give thanks. Yes, so Father, we do give thanks, you know, for this Holy Week coming up. You know, we give thanks for you know the solemn moment of resurrection as we resurrect our spirits you know in life you know with a new vibration a new outlook at our old problems you know through thy mercy and the grace that thou hast honored i and i with you know giving i and i time to get it right and i ask for thy wise mind you know thy knowledge and thy overstanding so and i can fulfill thy will and give I and I that courage to face, you know, whatever is ahead through thy strength and thy power, might of the Trinity, the whole of Trinity, most I will Emmanuel I slash I. Yeah. yeah. Rastafari. Right? Guide us unto this resurrection, O most I. Jehovah. Yeah. Yeah. Rest right. Right. Aye, aye. Give thanks, my Lord. Give thanks, Empresses. Give thanks, Royal Family. And, you know, until next time, this has been another Bobo Shanti International Study Group on African Liberation Network. Again, I'm the host, Prophet Daniel. And, you know, give thanks for everyone, the contribution and every listener here and every open mind. To the works, to the works. Blessed love, my Lord and Empress.